Uh, if you guys recall, you guys left off at the end of a battle where uh, they closed the door and managed to slip away uh, with you all kind of all really injured. Um, you guys are been through quite a couple fights. Um, and as far as you and know... they decided, like, hey, this is a good time to restart. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you've checked every room except for this one. Um... You even did a nice look around for everything, so I believe you guys were discussing taking a long rest before continuing forward. Um, don't forget that we also yeah. have, I believe it is a freeze weapon on the ground? Mm -hmm. That's my weapon yeah. on the ground. Hold on, I'm getting yep. my shit pulled up again. <laughs> my computer randomly restarted. Okay. But yeah, you I guys... Avery's. Yeah. yeah, I thought it was Avery's weapon, but um yeah because they and i think they just moved out the way because they kept going down um but yeah that's uh that's where y'all currently stand so you are alone you've killed multiple little cultists around here um and the one big big person that you were fighting seems to have slipped away somewhere um and so with that i'll just let you guys take it away with what you guys want to do Let's take a rest. I think Lucia is out of spell slots. <clears throat> uh, we're all in need of a new rest. In need of a rest. Yeah. But there's a door I don't think we've opened across the hall, across the way there. We may want to check that out to make sure it's okay. Valid. All right. Uh, I am going to... Taslim's going to walk over to the door. Okay. While Thorgar teleports. <laughs> I'm going to also Maybe walk just going over to, come to get the door. Your weapon. All right. And then I'm going to stand on top of these barrels, because I... <laughs> Fair enough. Yep. I'm going to check to see if that door is unlocked. Uh, the door is unlocked. Alright. See here. Does Haslam kick it open or do it slowly? I want to slowly open that door. Okay. okay. Uh, when you slowly open this door, the whole atmosphere <laughs> seems way different. Um, oh, in here, it actually seems a little calmer. Um, you just see one guy sitting in front of a candle uh, that's been lit on top of a small little drawing type thing, um, like a symbol. And there is an altar, and behind the altar is this large tapestry of uh, what looks what looks to be a, uh, <coughs> a like a sun capped mountain. Almost like the sun is uh, rising behind it. Mm. Um, I'm going to back out. He doesn't notice that I have opened the door and come in. He hasn't looked at you. He... I'm going to back out slowly mm -hmm. and tell everybody else there's one more in there. It, it, it doesn't feel the same I would say energy is the uh, last fight in here uh, what do you mean I I don't know it's it's it feels calmer but I'm not sure if we're up to one more fight if need be But we're like, we're trying to sleep, right? Well, yeah, but I don't need this guy hanging around here, finding us that we killed all his buddies, finding us all oh, asleep, calling more buddies. I, that's that's kind of what I'm getting. I, at. Ha I have a potion of watchful rest. I could probably drink that and keep watch while the rest of you sleep. Or. 
Maybe we try to talk to this guy. I mean, there's all of us and one of him. It does, doesn't uh, feel hostile in there. Okay, but... I mean, what's he doing? Did he see you? I don't think he saw me. He's There's a candle in front of him, and he looks like he's praying. There's an altar, and... It doesn't seem... I don't know. It doesn't seem that he's... I don't know if he saw me. Okay. Yeah, fuck since it. we're all, maybe we all since we're beaten and battered, we take the we just maybe be a little bit more diplomatic with this one. Did you just say diplomatic? Yeah, I know it's a word you probably people? never thought would come. To you. you thought, yeah, no, it's a word you probably thought you'd never hear me say. As much as I love bashing in the skulls of another guy, I don't think we're kind of up for one more fight until we rest. All right, all right. This is weird. <laughs> uh, honestly, I don't know what to do now. Uh, I'm going to go in there and try to maybe talk to him. Maybe... I don't know. Like I said, it doesn't feel like it did. Like how well, with the, it doesn't. It feels calmer in there. But what if it's calmer because he's focused on like whatever the cult is doing, and he's the one like doing the magic? Can't we maybe just barricade him in there and then like go in one of the other rooms? But if he's magic, what's had to stop him from just knocking over the barricade, calling up more people? So I'm just going to point out, y'all have not closed the door. You're just standing right outside the door, full <laughs> conversating. I thought he, he did close the door. And he's, he's just in there. He I said he, I didn't close he, the door. He said he's going to step out. He did not say he was going to close the door. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> I should have said I'm whispering all this, but I forgot. <laughs> y'all just full-on conversating right outside it's the door. It, it's just... It's still a Tazlin move, just to be loud as fuck, trying to discuss plans. I mean, it definitely is. <laughs> <laughs> so well, I'm going to go in there, and maybe we can reason with this guy. Go for it. All right, Tazlin's <laughs> going back in the room. Is he still praying towards the candle? Yes. Okay. I'm. I have my great axe in my hands just in case. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to go not too far in the room or not too close to him and be like, Excuse me, sir. You are not the one to find me. I'm I, I'm not the one to find you. Correct. No, I I was the one that came in here before and found you and walked out. So I I did find you. Your presence has been known. So you know I found you. From the moment that you butchered the ones outside. <laughs> Okay, yeah. I mean, there was nothing we could do. We had to defend ourselves. It kind of attacked us. Those that follow Merkel tend to be hostile. I, I didn't. I didn't. I. I we didn't mean to be hostile. I don't look at Rogue Arbor, right? We, we weren't hostile. We didn't mean to be hostile. I was not referring to your actions. Yeah, I think you met the other guy. You're doing great. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing great. <laughs> you got this, bud. 
him just giving me thumbs up behind the door. Stop. <laughs> Haskin pokes up for a third one. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> um, I. Well, I'm I'm sorry we we did that to your to your friends. Um. Uh, I'm just look out the door and be like, somebody want to help me out here? And just kind of like, kind of move. So <laughs> nobody else. <laughs> nope. I will. I will come and help. No, don't worry. He's got this. It's a learning Maybe. experience. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm gonna look at him and be like, do I? <laughs> Okay. And so I'm gonna ask him. So, is there somebody specific you wanted to talk to? Well, they would find me. The next place that you can go down here is through the door on my left. However, mm. your friends don't seem prepared for oh. such a thing. Hello. Well. What, hi. What do you think would need to do to prepare? I was wondering. <laughs> Well, for the most of you, take some time. Hmm. Rest up. But the one back there, the one that stands the tallest, they're the ones that I was expecting to find me. Uh, uh, wrong. <laughs> oh, who's the tallest? Who's Avery's the tallest. Possibly the yeah, cow. Possibly the cow. <laughs> the cow, yeah, the like... cow is maybe the tallest. Hold on, okay. let me pull up my Great. chart. I have it at the ready. <laughs> <laughs> or do I? <laughs> or do you? Avery like... doesn't want to like shove past everyone, <laughs> so she's just been kind of waiting for Ro to get out of the way. So uh, I, my yeah, bad. I move out of the way and I'm like. Oh, man. As Avery walks in, he'll stand in turn. You'll see his amulet is the same as yours. Uh, do I'm not... Sorry, you cut out what? His, as, he tur he'll, as you walk in, he stands up and turns to face Avery. You'll notice his amulet is the same as yours. He, he just appears to be uh, a normal human male uh, with black hair, uh, goatee going on. Uh, he is wearing vestments, uh, but unlike the rest of them, his are red and orange. Oh, I knew I felt Donatus' follower nearby. Uh, I've never met anyone that follows Donatus outside of my village. It's nice to meet someone out here that also follows him. Yes, well, the name's Aeronautus. We're very similar in sounds to him, but this is my little sanctuary down here for him. While those mostly follow Merkel within these underground walls, I've been allowed a sanction here, which also gives me the Ability to block entrance to the rest of, well, call it the lair. So tell me, was it Dunatus that led you to be so merciless with your blade? I, I'm, I'm sorry? <laughs> well, I can see your blade has blood on it. Certainly it's not your comrades, so I can only imagine that some of the painful screams from outside was caused to your hand. I... I, I might have hurt them, but I didn't kill anyone. Hmm. Well, all your actions reflect on Dunatus. Tell me, would he smile upon your actions? He'll take a step forward. Would you say that he's proud 
of your choices. I. She looks and but she'll like look down and look between like her hands and her blade, and just kind of like finally take herself in and see that she's you know like covered in blood and all this, before just getting like this kind of horrified look on her face. Hey, buddy. She had to do what she had to do. Whatever you say. But this is Thank for you. them to understand. They're the ones that use the power daunted on them to carve down anyone that they desire. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, what say you? You have a response to your actions, Avery? Is your I, mic cut? I really or... didn't mean. I really didn't mean to cause harm. I, I thought I was doing the right thing. And the right thing to you is lunging your blade inside others. I, I never did so with intent to kill, and I don't... I, I haven't killed anyone, at least not anyone, like any person. Well, whatever you find well to justify your means, he'll turn his back and head toward the altar. It's not like Dunatus was one for pacifism. He'll, He'll grab the bowl that was sitting here uh, on the altar. Have you cleansed your hands in time? Not recently. He'll carry the bowl over. It's got this sort of like reddish, uh, yellowish uh, water. It's not like heavy that color. It's clearly like you can see through it, but like it's got that colorish tint to it. And he'll just walk up. Well, then I'll offer you a chance to wash your hands of what you've done. And perhaps moving forward, you can think of how your actions reflect the one you follow. Avery will nod <clears throat> and uh, start washing her hands free of the blood. Thank you. Uh, as you dip your hands in, it has a sort of like burning sensation as it covers uh, your hands it's not like a uh, sh like a really bad one not like not like acid but it feels um, almost like s just something is burning away from on top of your hands but you can't really tell what if you want to roll religion they can get more out of that and he'll walk uh, back sure. with the bowl evil <laughs> Uh, oh, that's a nat 20. <laughs> all right. Um, oh. All right, well then. Um, with a nat 20, <laughs> uh, when you dip your hands in the bowl, not only did you feel the sensation of basically the, uh, the death that you've caused wash off of you, but you would have noticed um, the visage that Aranatus holds would fade slightly, and you would recognize that it uh, you're standing in front of Dunatus himself before it went away when you pulled your hands back out. Oh shit! <laughs> Wait a minute, her god or his god? Her 
Avery's god. My god is, is in front right, of me right now. Was in front of her. Mm-hmm. Him. Wow. Avery. Her. Them? Her. Avery, them. What are your we every today? time. Every time, guys. <laughs> the character is a she. We. Okay. Mm, okay, good. that's that's okay. <laughs> He's a dude disguised as another dude. <laughs> playing another playing dude. Playing a chick. <laughs> Y'all may. <laughs> Alright. <sighs> uh, any response to all that, Avery, by the way? He went and put the bowl down. Here, I'll, I'll put the space back for you. So I would know that this is my god, or... Yeah, you would know that this is your deity at this point. He still has the visage, but when you rolled that nat 20, you did get a glimpse of who he is exactly. And since your village knows that deity so well, you would know exactly what he looks like. Avery is going to... uh... (laughs) She's going to like let out like a small gasp before nailing. It's like, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't realize it was you. <laughs> it was the point. It's been a while since I've seen you. Yes, I knew of your travels, and I've seen some of the actions you've taken so far. I can't say. Well, let's just say I can't speak for him, right? As he looks around at your friends. But your hands are washed for a chance to do it better. Thank you for thank you so much for giving me this chance. <clears throat> Hopefully right. I don't have to visit again. Above table. Mm-hmm. Uh, Aeronautus is or Aeronautus is her god but disguises somebody else. Yes, Dunatus is known okay. for taking the form of a normal, okay. ordinary-looking human and spreading his own gotcha. religion. So, gotcha. Okay. Also, a dude playing a dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's another dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. I'm, I'm like confused. <laughs> Who's who? What's what? <laughs> You are currently in the presence of a god. I just must be all the blood loss from when I almost died. <laughs> <laughs> Through this whole thing, Rose just hanging out at the door like, what's taking so long? <laughs> uh, I just on the couch just thing for no reason. But, but Avery, you did just kneel in front of him? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Anyone got responses for her kneel- them kneeling all of a sudden? Because y'all don't know. Why the fuck you doing that? Taslin is kind of like he's standing there like you can see him like should he kneel? Should he not? Like he's kind of like bobbing like uh, doesn't know really what's going on. Like He's bobbing and weaving. Hey, hey, hey Avery, what? What's going on? What? What? What do I do? <laughs> this is kind of... Avery is not Avery is not paying any attention to the rest of y'all. She is like fully focused on her god right now. <laughs> He'll just lean yeah. down and grab you by like your forearm and start to help you back up. Well, at this point, uh, like I said, I hope I don't have to make another visit like this for you. Now you all go get ready for the next part of the dungeon. It gets much worse, and they know you're here. So they will be preparing for your entrance. Did, did you just say much worse? Your, pre- your, your visit won't be wasted. Avery, ask for a tip. No, Taslin raises. Taslin's sitting in the corner, raising his hand, going, "Much worse." Yes, I know you're here. So likely, the two are raising some nethers to help them. 
while the, the other one is working on their, we'll just call them undead. So there's Hold three on. of them? That's what I heard. There's three of them. I thought he said two of them. I thought he said two. There's a you total of five. Oh, oh well, I, wait a minute. Hold on, homie. Oh, I almost yeah, just died there. Five. Yes, I saw. We. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the help, then. But we actually, there was a couple of us that almost died. And you're telling me it gets worse. Death is only a part of life. If you find yourself in the cycle, then you'll just come back another. Oh. Well, you, I don't want to do that. If you wish, mm -hmm. I could give you all a boost for now, and then you could handle it much better, I'm sure. But oh, that'd be that awesome. Lovely. Truth be Thank told, you. your success is not much of my concern. Did you say boost? <laughs> Okay, I love how Rogar, or Rogar just went right through the wall <laughs> when he's like boost. <laughs> Magic. He'll uh, <laughs> Houdini. He'll he'll uh, concentrate for what? a second, and then you guys will just see some lights coming off of the bottom of his robe and just start moving up, almost like a rising sun. And once it reaches oh. his crown, or I guess his head, it's gonna glow in like a 20 foot radius which should hit everybody um right. uh yeah so everyone gets hit with it so everyone gets hit by this lo uh this glow initially y'all don't feel anything but he'll just say following your rest you'll find yourselves further grown into your abilities excuse me um <laughs> Question for you though. Um, you, you, apparently, you're a higher being. Um, I'm thinking, by the way, Avery's acting. Um, we have this like age thing going on. Um, is there any way you can get rid of that somehow? Get rid of your like, age. <laughs> you wish to be a child? I'd rather be back to looking like I was, you know, my younger self instead of looking like, and I turned to Rogar, this guy. Whoa. What a dick. <laughs> what an asshole. It was Avery. I mean, I had... It was Avery and Tazlin that got hit by it, right? Yes. Yeah, I'm 40, but I was 20. Yeah, yeah I, was, I was younger. I had brighter blue skin, much like, I was like, the, I, like to get back me and me and your and avery would love if you could help us out hell avery is just kind of standing there with this kind of like really embarrassed slash horrified look on her face because tazlin <laughs> is just asking her god to do shit for her <laughs> he'll take this the is, he'll take definitely his, a tazlin thing <laughs> he'll take his amulet off and just hold it forward would you like to obtain that ability yourself I, I'm oh. sorry? Well, certainly you know that I'm always happy to have more followers. If he wishes for that ability, he's welcome to follow me as well. I, I'm not looking for an ability here, buddy. I just, I mean, I... I don't well, know. Do you want to become a paladin? <laughs> well, then, he'll put you it want back. want a multi-class? He'll put it back on. No, I don't. Well, I will help my follower, but for you, I'll just tell you what you need. And that is a bit of greater restoration. You have a clock ticking from when it happened and 24 hours after. And then Whoa. he'll, he'll uh, put his hand on Avery's shoulder, and Avery, you'll feel that age regress putting you back to your proper age. Yippee. So wait a minute. What happens after the twenty-four hours? I die, or it, I, it goes away, or you stay as old as you oh. are. Hell no. <laughs> Before he fully takes his hand back, he grabs your amulet, Avery, for a moment, and you just see his palm glow, 
and then uh, he lets it go, and you feel a slight bit stronger. He turns your amulet into a plus two. Ooh, yippee! Now are you embarrassed that I asked? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm still embarrassed, but you know. <laughs> Where did Perhaps I put you it? can find the scroll from these group of clerics. Uh, they tend to be pretty loose with their items. Could be in their library, or perhaps uh, the the one that calls herself Shashka. The she leads the the cult members usually up here, the ones that you've oh. killed, and uh, she might have one in her her room. Let's see. Uh, if you can't do it yourself, that's your best bet. Otherwise, you're welcome to follow me. Those are your choices. So oh. you help him out and you go look. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not joining the cult. All right, above <laughs> table. If I decide to follow it. Above, yeah, mm-hmm. Right. Above table, if I decide to follow him, am I multi-classing to a paladin? Or warlock. I'll let that happen. Well. You can okay. have special powers. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you have the god himself in front of you being like, you can join okay. if you want. I'll heal you. Like, you'll get something out of it, but like... You don't have to do it. There's... there's... Uh, I... Just go look for. Well, the, the, way, the way I, the way I'm thinking about it is it's been it's been a, it's it's been almost a day. Yeah. And if we take if we take the rest, that's pretty much 24 hours. Correct. So you're gonna have to use part of the rest, find uh, the scroll, and use it. Or like I, I said, follow him. I the potion of watchful rest. Taslin could actually Taslin could just take my potion of watchful rest and do. Like search while he does it, and then the rest of us should take regular rest. Yeah, you want to let Taslin go off by himself into the unknown. I mean, I know it, I know it's not a good it's idea, a but you know. I mean, it's a good idea. It's just not. It's not very good. I do like the idea of becoming a multi-class warlock, though. Well, you don't it's want to swing to around a big old hammer being a paladin. He already does that with an axe. It would be funny. Yeah, but he could do it with really... a hammer. He could make them into meat patty. Literally. <laughs> it would right. be really funny to have Tazlin of all people turn into a paladin. All right, sir. I'll. But grudgingly, he's like, I'll follow you. And holds out his hand. Are you sure about that? This isn't something you can take back. <sighs> Well, I'm the multi class. You better get pull out that character sheet. You honey. legitimately don't have to do it. It's all good. <laughs> but can, the question you... is, and you know... well, the way Taslin's thinking is, he knows about the being a wizard. His good friend, Thonis, or not a wizard, a warlock, is a warlock. He's heard the stories of being a warlock, so it's running in his mind. Like, yeah, it could be cool too. <sighs> You know what? I'll figure it out. We'll figure it out some way. I appreciate the offer, uh, astronautus. Um, but we're good. Understandable. Not everyone is able to handle DNA's abilities. I'm gonna. Best... I can handle it. I just. Of course. Of course I, I like could. the way I am right now, there, buddy. I'm gonna stand next to Ro and be like, "So, do you think his nickname is astronaut or something?" <laughs> Where, where's Ro? If Avery gets wind of any of this, you're all getting knocked. Where is I'm not at my de- I'm not at my desk right now, but that's what I would do. I'd just come up to you like, "Hey, Ro, you want to yeah. roll investigation since you dipped? That's what you're. Can you not play with the dice? You gotta go. No, oh, gee. You can't go. <laughs> he just went up to the library. I didn't realize you went all the way up to the library. God, man, he searched that room though. Uh, let's see. What it was investigation, right? Yeah. Uh, Avery, anyone have anything else for 
Aeronautis. That is a 19. Okay. Yeah. I'm since good. you know what you're, here. since you knew what you were looking for, you do find, um, uh, on this little stack over here, you find a uh, couple scrolls, uh, most of which don't seem to be like done or complete where there's no arcana energy but you do find one that has arconic energy oh my god she's so much right now she's so <laughs> <laughs> that's your time for the protective one. I knew what you were doing, Bo. But yeah, anyone else have anything else for Aeronautis? Avery, Taz, Davina? No, I'm, no. I'm good. Taz one's I'm good. I'm good. I think I'm just going to go into this next room over here and be like, well, it's, I think it's time for a long nap. I actually, excuse me, oh. sir, I got one question. Just one more question. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Is my Another party one. safe? Yeah, and another one. Is my party safe resting here? Well, I'll be sure to remain here until you're awake, but oh. next time you come through, I'll likely be gone. All right, well, you seem like a big deal to my friend here, so I'm going to have to take your word. It's not often, and he'll turn to Avery, people are given second chances. Avery is just, like, mortified right now. She has, like, the most embarrassed look <laughs> on her face because Taz, like, keeps asking for shit. I just asked. I didn't ask for anything. I just asked for a question. Yeah, but you keep... Major... Like... Well, it's a mix hey, of, like, I... you asking questions and, like, the fact that her god... That she... Her god was so fed up with her, like, hurting people that he came himself to be like, cut it out. Yeah, like, hey, quit your shit, idiot. So she is mortified right now. All right, well, well, good, sir. Nice meeting you. I think we're going to go ahead and take that rest. There's quite a few of us that really need it. So I guess through that we have a passive paladin. <laughs> you haven't figured that out yet, dude? <laughs> oh, yeah, we already, we're new Avery's Listen, I'm kind of retarded. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I haven't explicitly said that, like, hey, this dude's a god, but I pretty, but I like kneel to him. So why do you think? Why do you think I just said? Why do you think? Why do you, I think you? I just said in character, you seem like a pretty big deal to her. <laughs> All right. Hmm. It is not always I'm who gonna... you hurt that can be a problem. It could also be who you aid. Keep that in mind as you continue to make your choices. Hey, she's aiding us pretty good. I don't think she has any intentions of hurting us. He's going to just side-eye you. <laughs> as you clearly did not understand. <laughs> Again, this fucking very, taz very tazzling thing going on here. Yeah, sure, Taz. Uh, <laughs> it's easy to run characters that you make about yourself. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> hey, bud. You going from stupid town? All right, Avery. Avery, I think we need to go get some rest. Let's, let's go. And Taz is just going to walk out. Avery's gonna give like one final bow before leaving. The door is just gonna shut behind you guys. All right. Well, apparently, y'all need to get some rest, and I got some. Ser Excuse me, some searching to do. Little <laughs> road, did you come back with those scrolls, or do you just kind of keep that to yourself? Uh, we don't know. Who, me and you don't know he left. We were in that <laughs> room. Well, yeah, but like, is he gonna say anything? Is what I'm asking. No, like above the table. There. We're not there yet. <laughs> oh. 
I didn't, you didn't see shit. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Yeah, so Taslin's gonna have to do some searching. <laughs> what, what are you gonna look for, bud? I, I got a. Apparently, the big deal dude was telling that I need to look for a scroll of restoration to get me looking young, get me back to my young self. I say, you guys go ahead, rest, and I can search this place for it. And I can take care of myself later. No, I'll help you out. Mm, what do you mean? I mean, you don't really know much about magic. Squirrels. You know, no. yeah. you know what I you're doing. I can help I you all out. night. I can. Well, if you want to come with me, we can look for it. I, I, I can read somewhat. And I'm sure I can figure something out. I think Lucia like I said, you guys get. Can't pen. <laughs> yeah. You guys get some rest. I can. She needs her like, beauty like sleep. I said, I... <laughs> For four hours She's of awfully... beauty sleep. <laughs> She's awfully quiet. Awfully no. quiet. Um, yeah. <laughs> She's just tired, guys. She's just tired. Miracles do happen, guys. Miracles. Maybe she's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Miracles. She wasn't she down at one that point. Is so mean. You know for a fact that if she was still here, she would have hit you upside the head. Yeah. She would have cried. <laughs> she would have smacked you into next Tuesday. Yeah. I don't think so. What? All right. Well. So yeah, what are y'all doing? Uh, I'm just gonna fuck around with Taz for a minute before I end up telling him I had the scroll the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> just help him look for it, like, hmm, what could it be? I'm just gonna uh, look Athena at Avery and literally already falling asleep. Hey, I'm just gonna look, give, look at Avery and Thorgar and be like, "You guys get some rest. I gotta look for the yeah, scroll." Avery, Avery is, uh, like, already started, like, she is very clearly, like, stuck in her own head, thinking shit like that, so she's not, like, not even going to acknowledge him. <laughs> and just start oh, walking. Oh, oh man. I know there was a library around here somewhere, so, I'm, yeah. I'm, like I said, you should get some rest while I go look for her. Try to find what I need to. Ah, oh, yeah, library's up here, bud. Hey, don't forget, there's also crates and wardrobes and stuff out here, and then there's that room over in the corner. There's all sorts of places. I'm gonna start with the library. Bo, you're <laughs> such an ass. I could tell Avery, you did you, uh, Avery, are you sitting on the floor? Well, I was gonna pull, uh, uh, pull up my bedroll because I figured that uh, Ro and Heskin would want the bed. Oh, okay, Thor, what are you up to? You going to sleep too? Um, I don't know. I guess go to sleep. Sure. You can you can join the duo up here searching the library. Ah, uh, the dinguses? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I like turn, doing that. Turn the dinguses into the dunguses. Oh Whoa. God. <laughs> Uh, uh, we're looking for guess... shitty books, is that right? Pretty much, pretty much. Uh, oh, okay, got it, got it. We're looking for start a scroll. Dumping shit off those bookshelves. So I guess I'm going to be doing an investigation check looking for a scroll? Yeah, go ahead. Scrolls oh, that yeah. aren't there. A scroll that's I'm just, not I'm just going to be a menace and start <sighs> pulling out scrolls and throwing shit across the room. God damn. <laughs> oh, fuck. What is a six? What what do I what do I look what do I get with a six? <laughs> oh boy. Uh, <laughs> you were so busy freaking out about the time you just couldn't couldn't do a proper search. You kept looking at books and stuff, and you remembered you gotta go for scrolls and then you look over, Thor's throwing scrolls out, so you're just looking at the scrolls. To be fair, <laughs> as I'm throwing shit around, even though I have a negative two for an investigation, I rolled a seventeen. <laughs> okay. So you did. You did find the pile of scrolls that you are officially throwing. Um, <laughs> oh, what do you mean? What do you mean? Throw seventeen? I mean, I mean, come on. You found the scrolls. Uh, I mean, you guys have searched this room pretty thoroughly. You guys have found pretty much everything. But yeah, you find the pile of scrolls, but none of them have arcanic energy or anything to them. They just seem like unfinished or blank scrolls. 
Um. Okay, hold on. Let me look at this layout real quick. Cause I mean, I have. So it's just one library, mm -hmm. basically, right? Okay. Uh, perception check to check like the bookshelves. Any weird like. <laughs> uh, investigation is is. The no, same no, no, no. So, so let me let me let me say this. Um, let me say this. Check the bookshelf. Check the walls. Check like a switch, a pressure plate, something like that. Yeah, you guys have already thoroughly checked all that, like all. Five I mean, of... that's perception. I mean, we, we, we haven't checked for specifically I, like I doors mean, or like I like I said. Or... There's there's also more wardrobes and bookshelves and things in this big area. Well, I, mean, I don't know. Well Maybe there's a fucking area. secret door that you just press this one thing in and it opens up to a Houdini room or something. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not gonna make you roll because there is nothing like that there. All right, fine. What's all right? Fine, fine. You know what? I'll roll again. Perception, uh, nat twenty. What do I get? Why'd you not tell me that room? That room has that had the cultist in it. So you find. Oh, you know... I don't know. I wasn't here. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> well, you find you know the stash of food that they had for the cultists that stayed up here in the front. You can find some sandbags. Um, I mean, there's the bed. You find that little chest at the end of the bed that's got um, like tattered, ruined versions of the uh, outfits you guys would have seen the cultists in. So, all right, well, um, I'm going to munch on some food. Y'all check the other rooms, I guess. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, we really never... We've checked all these rooms. Yeah, you guys have done the... Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Wait, what the hell's down here? Down the... Hang on. Um, God damn it. We didn't check really anything What the hell's down, down here? here? That there, Thor, is the kitchen. Okay, kitchen's probably not going to have books and scrolls. What about this? That is the room that had the cleric you guys were fighting, and that is one of the rooms that you guys can check. Go ahead and do investigation or perception, since you seem to prefer. All perception. right, Nat one. What do I get? <laughs> you are. <laughs> you, you just think I'm this, in a room. <laughs> you for some reason think you're in the same room you were in just a bit ago. Oh, uh, yes. I got lost. <laughs> As they one would say, I got lost. Lost. Taz, go ahead and roll your investigation again. <laughs> Taz, I'm trying to be nice to you. I'm trying. <laughs> I mean, we can re-roll, you know. Just, I, I want to thoroughly there. check this. Re-roll, you know. Oh, God. Fucking Rogar. What did I do? Uh, Ro, you Girl can last. do. You can roll investigation <laughs> in that room if yeah. that's what you want to do. Yeah, I got a, I got a 17. 17? Uh, all right. So as you look through the uh, the cleric's room, uh, it's kind of used as like a partial storage. Looks like it has a few things that the kitchen would use, like uh, flour and um, things like that. But uh, you do find a uh, small chest, and inside that chest, uh, it has a single scroll still sitting inside of it. Oh, oh, Jesus I Christ! Pick it up. <laughs> I will pick it up and read it. Well, not out loud, but, like, just look at it. Hey, genius, what is it? Uh, well, obviously, you, you can't read it, so you're not a wizard. Uh, Tazlin, yeah, you want to do another it. check? Because it's, oh, all yeah. scrolls are written in wizard, so. Ah. <laughs> you're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. <laughs> so, Ro, you got two scrolls now. Tazlin. Three. Of course. Um... <laughs> <laughs> You open that that uh, wardrobe and you just you see a bunch of bottles, but because they're bottles and not scrolls, you immediately close it and just move on. Right, and there's nothing else in that chest. Just nope. The scroll. It, just, just the, the one scroll. scroll. It, it, yeah, that's all that's in there. Okay. Is is this a chest or a bench? That is a bench. Go for it. Maybe it's. In the secret okay. compartment, in the bed. Jesus. Bro, are you gonna do anything with those, those scrolls? Or are you just gonna? Do you? Did you like stash them, or are you just holding them? Yeah, I put them in my pocket. They're <laughs> they're not like small. They're scrolls. Like I put them in my backpack. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you the I bet you the ass put it in my fucking bag of holding when I wasn't looking. <laughs> 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 
I would like to roll I, for stealth, please. I will say it's been about 30 <laughs> minutes of you guys just walking around looking for stuff. All right, that's fine. I will... Like me, I can't really do anything with the scrolls. I'll let Taz know that I did find one scroll. Fuck it, perform it. And then, can I go back to said deity and try to identify them? You can do whatever you want. Or you can wait, you know, three and a half hours until Lucia wakes up and she can identify him. Uh, uh, nah, I'm good. When you try to open the door, it seems uh, not only locked, but almost like sturdy like a wall. Almost like it's not movable in any sense. Okay. Um, I cast Mage Hand to unlock the door. No! <laughs> Doesn't do anything. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, so, Taz, uh, I got this scroll here, but uh, you see. Is it the one I need? I can't read it. What do you need? Give it to me. Let me, give it to me. Let me see if I can read it. Yeah. Ro, Ro, you said you're going to give him one of the scrolls? The the second one I found. The second? The okay. Good. Well, that actually helps me out with your specifics. Okay. Uh, Tazlin, you get the scroll. Uh, obviously, you can't read it either. Written in wizard. All weird. <laughs> Open it like... <laughs> <laughs> Who put us on this one? <laughs> uh, is this a scroll I need? Do you know? I don't know. I just oh. found a scroll that seems to be magical. <laughs> it seems. Oh, that's very helpful. Um, well, I mean, it's... Oh, just, open, the, you know, open the door. See if the big guy's in there. Yeah, I tried. It didn't work. What do you mean it didn't work? We just opened it, like, half yeah, hour ago. Well, like, it didn't work. A... It did, it's, like a, it's like a wall now. It won't even budge. I tried Did to you mage hand too. Yeah, it didn't work. He must have negated the mage hand. He must have put it somewhere else. It's his mage hand now. Pick it oh, up no, I didn't say your mage hand didn't pop in. I just said the mage hand can't do anything. No, I just said it didn't work. Yeah, because it didn't unlock the door. Well, exactly. Okay. I don't think anybody else in our party is... Well, yeah. I, I mean, Lucia might be able to figure it out. That's it just started running. <laughs> Taslin, are you busting that door open or are you gently opening it? I'm just opening it like a normal human being. Man, do the Kool-Aid uh, thing. I don't know if you know how to do that. Yeah. I feel like you got too often. <laughs> <laughs> I'm opening it. I'm not trying to bust it down. He's going like this the whole time. <laughs> All right, do well. I do it? No, do I? No, do I? No. <sighs> Oh, she's in a trance. She's not even asleep. She's in a trance. Correct. Yeah. Ah, so. Fuck. I mean, I guess you can. Snuggle wrong, up but... and go to sleep. It's going to be fine. No, it's not going to be fine. But it's, there's a good possibility by the time I wake up, I'm going to be stuck at this age. Nah, yeah. you'll be fine. You can always you just. Get tired until later in the afternoon. You can always just guess. Use it on a whim. Just wait till she gets up. Use the scroll She'll be on the whim. In a few hours. No, nothing stopping you. Oh, good lord. Oh god, this nothing. is never take his advice. <laughs> you know better. <laughs> Taz, look, just just wait till Lucia gets up in a few hours. Show you that everything will be good. You'll be able to identify it. And if it's not it, we'll keep looking. Okay. We've gotten to like afternoon tomorrow. Okay. Also, why do All I right. have two HP? Because you so, almost oh, died. You got we you missed a, a battle where all of us almost died. Oh. All of us died at one point. I we was died. one I was one I was one roll away from bad save away dead, from having to make dead, a new dead. character sheet. Yeah, new character, everything, dead, dead. Pyramid. Damn. Like, it was a bad battle. 
Yeah. Damn. We should have long rested before that. But someone said hello. <laughs> yeah, they did. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. The, the, okay, so, so I'm going to lay my bedroll down right at the feet of Lucia's bed. Uh -huh. But I'm not falling asleep. Oh, I'm crashing. I don't know. You're pretty old. I don't know if you can just stay up. Well, <laughs> <laughs> you fucked, idiot. You're like 35. Get out of here. Yeah, bro. No, I'm like I'm like 40, you I fucking think. Fucking old geezer. Yeah, I know, yeah. He's like 45, 50 almost. And that's in the you dragon year, so he's got like 20 you years You get your nap in today, old man? <laughs> he said he was 17. Originally, he gained yeah. 20 years, he's 37. No, he gained 30 years. He's 47. Then he ain't my age, bro. He's old as fuck. That's what I'm saying. He's trying to pull an all... He's a 47-year-old trying to pull an all-nighter with wounds? That's crazy. That's... So is... <laughs> Imagine. So is every... So, at the... by this time, Rogar's asleep. Is Avery and Avina asleep? Yeah. Yeah, I'm asleep. Yeah. And Lucia's yeah, we're asleep. Snoozing. Thor is somewhere, apparently. Yeah, only God knows what Thor's doing. <laughs> I'm just uh, exploring. You you might want to rest. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, resting. Oh. There is a there is a bed in there. Nothing's stopping him from just sleeping in there. Well, you know what? Hang on, hang on, right? hang on, Bobby. Uh, we're gonna have to make some room here. Okay. <laughs> All right. So everybody's asleep or in a trance at this point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm gonna quietly get up and walk out of the room. Oh. Okay. Open the door very slowly. Perception check to hear anything. And quietly. Um. Not wake anybody else up. Taz, you wanna roll stealth just to see if you don't wake anyone else up? Let's let the dice yeah, that would be better. Oh, oh fuck! I've God damn it! I have disadvantage on that too. <laughs> Are you wearing armor? Yes. I I have the... I mean, you could take off your armor. What arm? What... You have unarmored defense. Oh, yeah, you're wearing the scale I mail. I have dragon scale mail. Yeah. All right, well, then. You know what? I'm Let's... just going to I'm just going to leave it, and we're going to go hope for the best. A seven. I'm pretty sure that woke up. Hey, it rolled double. I'm pretty sure that woke up uh, most people. What you doing, bud? Uh, I, I guarantee you, he's not looking... waiting, like we told him to. <laughs> looking for the bathroom. Oh, okay. Right. Understand. Got to drain the little <laughs> the little lizard. Are we letting this excuse work? Hey man, I mean, man's got a pen. It's pretty solid. Are we gonna, are we gonna go? Pretty... Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, Especially for an old man. Perception versus I mean, perception. Like, is it really not believable you that how old guys got a piss in the middle of the night? Kid? Yeah. Come on. Yeah, and I think Fair as enough. half asleep, we're all gonna be like, oh yeah, okay. Half asleep, beaten up. <laughs> Lucia uh, didn't hear anything. She's in her trance. Yeah, I mean, I imagine she heard it, but she's gonna finish her trance, so. But yeah, you can, uh, I guess they're letting you get away with it, so Taz, what you doing? I am going to go here, kind of away from them, and pull out the scroll. And fucking pray for the best. <laughs> so you're going to use the scroll on yourself? Yeah. All right. It was the correct scroll. You <coughs> go back to your proper <laughs> age. Cool. Thank God. Thank God. <laughs> Next thing you know, he turned into Cthulhu, the spying spaghetti monster. I kind of want to know what happens if we use the other scroll. Yeah. Fuck it. Well, go two for two. Up, you you... Double down, bitch. All right. I'm nope. just going to walk in and go back to my bedroll and fall asleep. Goddamn. What the hell happened to you? Shit. What was that? You rejuvenating fucking bathroom? Damn it. You took the scroll, didn't you? I didn't, it worked. Sue me. <laughs> <laughs> well, that makes me pretty nope. curious, but okay. Nope. <laughs> I know. 
know. It makes me curious too. What would I, I want to know what would have happened if you gave me the other scroll? Right. As hey, you guys, you, let, baby. you find me. As you guys you are dead in the middle of the floor. As you guys are uh, somewhat awake, you all, uh, anyone that's awake would notice uh, almost like small fits of laughter coming in and out from Thor. The hell? What did I do? Oh no! Oh, just uh, so oh, you know, no. yeah, you, I guess you don't know. You weren't here. Uh, you got you got stabbed with a rusty dagger. Oh! I got a oh, Laramie no. Giant. You got the. We still have to find out what. We still have to find different. out what happened to Taz's stomach. <laughs> well, would the Greater Restoration have cured that too? Oh yeah. If I say yes, will you stop bringing it up? <laughs> <laughs> the damn said shut up was it because you forgot? I don't want to make sure you didn't forget no. about it don't worry I didn't forget okay, about fine. it uh, alright then I'm not going to bring it up again alright you're going to wait Chaz doesn't even there's a $3,000 doctor bill. I, I have a no, note I have a note right it. here right here I can see it every time I load up my notes Okay. of, okay. of all, all the right. details I need all right. that won't okay. be forgotten <laughs> Alright, well then I'm going to sleep. Alright, uh, Lucia so, would obviously so... be the first one to wake up, but yes, we are also going to level up. Congratulations. You got, oh, shit. Oh, yay. You got boosted to level 6 a little early. Uh, let's start with Avery. Stay in Paladin. Oh, fuck, I don't know what I want to do. That's because that's your last, so, so just hang out. So, Avery, uh, first off, give me a d10 <laughs> plus 2. Uh, 12. Wow, Max, that brings your health to a 60. Very nice jump. Yippee! Very nice. And at level 6, as a paladin, you gain aura of protection. No extra spell slots, so that stays the same. But Aura of Protection, I believe, is a plus five to saving throws to people within ten feet of you. Uh, friendly creatures within ten feet of you, must that must make a saving throw. That creature gains a bonus uh, saving throw to your Charisma modifier, which is oh, only a plus one. Uh, you have to be conscious to grant the bonus. So, and it's ten feet. Yes, so oh, we're going to... We're going to put this around you, 10 feet, and then we're going to make it orange like the sunrise. Yippee! Uh, and only you're going to see it, you'll have to remind them. All right. With that, that's your level yeah. six. Avina, you stay in Ranger? Yep. All right, then let me get that D10 plus two from you as well. Three plus two. Fuck me. Yeah, I don't fucking know. Three plus two, so five. All right, so that brings, that brings Google you up that to shit. 48. <laughs> Not bad. All right, and then you got an improvement to your favorite enemy and natural explorer aspects. No increase on your spell aspects, though. Um, let's see here. Natural explorer. Where is that at? Did I go too far? Oh, here we go. Natural Explorer. I did go way too far. Oh, okay, so okay, you got yeah. Swamp. Right. So at oh, at 6th level, you get to pick another terrain. So what is another terrain that you would like to favor for Natural Explorer? Mm. I don't know. Uh, Grassland. Grassland. Grassland? Grassland. Alrighty. Grassland it is. And then Favorite. the... Favored, you went with favorite enemy, and at sixth level, you as you gain levels, your choices should reflect types of monsters. You, know, you choose one additional favorite enemy, and so yeah, you get another favorite enemy. Right now, you have okay, giants. I, yeah, I choose undead. Fair enough. Uh, that does not come with another language, I don't think. It language like it... associated no, with undead. D&D. &D. 
Uh, wasn't that usually understand speak common? Yeah, yeah. So it doesn't come with uh, another language. But uh, favorite enemy is now undead, and you added grassland to your terrain, and there you are. Uh, row, fighter or sorcerer? Sorcerer. Really? Huh. All right then. Uh, let me get um, a D6 plus one from you, please. It's a, it's a five. Five total? Yep. Brings you up to 40. Save that. And let's see, as a sorcerer, obviously you get your third level spells. I'm sure that was one of the main pools for you there. Yep, that's exactly why. <laughs> so, you got two spell slots at third level. You get to learn one more spell. You can always take one away and learn another one. Um, if you want, you can use some of your downtime to tattoo it. Um, if you do... Yeah. Um, we gotta pull that up, see how long that's gonna take you. But... Um, you get... What's Magical Guidance? Fifth level, you can tap into your inner well. Oops. Wellspring. Uh, when you make an ability check that fails, you can spend a sorcery point to re-roll the d20 and make a new roll. Yeah, if you want, you can have that magical guidance. If you fail an ability check, you can use a sorcery point to try again. Okay. Why not? Oh, and you also have five sorcery points, though. Yeah. Cool. Using that for you. Taz, level six barbarian, because you decided not to multi-class. D twelve yeah, plus two, please. <laughs> it is what it is, man. You can still multi-class, just nah. not so hands-on. How often do you get handed a opportunity like that? But. I don't know. D12 plus 2, please, for your Barbarian health increase. Six. Six. Six total. Alright, so that brings yeah. you to 58. And you now have a total of four rages per rest. Uh, still does plus two damage. And then it says you gain a path feature. So let's check out your path. Oh, I get a path feature? The depths, right? Oh, my bearing. path is weird, yeah. Depths, that's right. I gotta look it up separately. Path of the depths. There we go. Ghost, water, dive, right? This is get to the drowned ones, stretch line, yeah. Ghost, water, dive. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see here. Ghost, water, dive. What does that mean? You can burst into water, then materialize somewhere else as an action. You magically teleport along with any equipment you are wearing or carrying up to 30 feet from an, uh, to an unoccupied space you can see. Before or after teleporting, you can make one attack as part of your action. Moving this way does not provoke opportunity attacks. You can fucking teleport into water, right? Yeah, because we're... Clearly, always near water. <laughs> you can burst into water that materialize somewhere else as an action and do an attack. So, but if you do the attack this way, you okay. don't get the extra attack because extra attack requires you using your action to attack. Yep. You're using your action to materialize. You just get to also attack. So, not bad. So what is that path called again? Uh,. Path of the Depths. Uh, yeah, Path of the Depths. Oh, you, you just gotta look it up separately. Perfect. It's not gonna be part of yeah. the, the thing. Even though it's on the same yeah. website, it's not linked for whatever reason. Uh, I was Thor just looking up for that ability. Yeah. Um, Ghost Water Dive. And then Thor. Are we staying rogue? Um... Yeah, I think so. Okay. Uh, let me get a D8 plus 2 from you, please. Uh, 
Hey, look at that. Ten. Ten. Ten total? Alright, yeah. that's max. So that brings you up to fifty. Very nice boost. Um, and now your sneak attack does three d6. And oh, yeah, you, oh, it already did three d6. Sorry. Uh, you yeah. gain expertise. That's what it was. Um, what you already had. Sneak attack damage is still broken sometimes. <laughs> Essex level, you can choose two more of your proficiencies to gain the benefit of becoming expertise in them. So, right now you have so many. Uh, you have these tools. The, and intimidation. You also got deception from the feat you took. So let's see. Um. Yeah. So you can pick two more skills to be expertise in. Uh. Definitely insight for sure. Okay. Insight. Uh. Yeah, you're not. Prof give... You have to be proficient with it in the first place. Uh... So athletics, <clears throat> stealth, sleight of hand, or perception. Well, obviously I'm going to do stealth, because more stealth is better. Oh, and acrobatics is an option. Um, so stealth? Yeah, stealth for one. I get two, right? Yeah, one more. I'll go... Slide of hand. Man's about to start stealing. <laughs> uh, what does that bring those two? So stealth is now a ten, as well as your sleight of hand. Pretty much almost impossible to fail. Um, and that's that's it for the bro get level six. So not bad. And then we'll just have to get Lucia's upgrade, which I'm pretty sure she's staying curious, but I don't want to make that call for her. Let me open up the tracker so I can add that you leveled up here. I'm surprised you were. Uh, you guys weren't ready. It's you guys have been level five for quite some time. I, was I completely forgot about it. Yeah, I compl I forgot that the point of D and D is to you know level up and get stronger. <laughs> I was hoping after this fight we were gonna level up coming in today. Yeah. Uh, I was technically. Well, yeah, because but because of your insistent questioning, we leveled up like a day <laughs> earlier. Congratulations. Uh, you did hey, actually. Really here, you can. No, no, he, she's not lying. You're right. You, technically, yeah. the level up is supposed to be at the end of the dungeon. But and good job, forget, Taz. We got to get your pendant up to plus two, also. Yeah, I didn't know he would do that. I, I guess my either, god just has a welcome. soft spot for me. Either that, or I was annoying the shit out of him. He was just trying to get us to go away. One of the two. That's probably more like it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest here. I feel compelled. I mean, <laughs> it was probably like, what is this big dumb fucking <laughs> right talking to me for? The side eye, he was like, thank God he said no. Oh my goodness. Yeah, right? Oh. <laughs> like, I, I, I'm trying to bring he people in, not fucking keep them away. That would have been great if I was like, yeah, I'll be a paladin. <laughs> I'll follow you, buddy. Yeah. Ten seconds later, he'd be like, "Oh you my didn't god, even end stop up following, following him. me!" <laughs> Honestly, there's a you little piece of me. Him. <laughs> I know I didn't. <laughs> there was a little piece of me that was just like, "I kind of hope he is a paladin, then I can keep this greater restoration for myself." <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting there like, I have a hard enough time playing barbarian. I don't need to be multi-classing. I didn't play warlock very good. We already have a paladin. <laughs> uh, just make yeah. sure uh, Avery to make sure you go to your spell section and increase it by one because you're because uh, you're amulet you know what I mean now that fourth rage is going to come in handy oh yeah my amulet, I already added like the plus one to my amulet with the vow yeah well, it should be a plus two now and then, yeah, a plus one to that plus one was, was what I was saying. Which means your spell save DC is 14 and your spell attack is 6. Oh, okay. That's what I was I talking about. Alright. Yippee! I just want to make sure I had all my shit right, because knowing me, I don't know a lot of this. Hmm. Alright. Uh, some of y'all finish your long rest before others, but...
Fresh tokens. Yippee! All right. Oh, yeah, you guys finish off your long rest and you guys can get up. You feel a little empowered, but Thor, you keep finding yourself going into fits of laughter and you feel oh, no. a little tired regardless as you have one point of exhaustion on you. What a bullshit! Tetanus! Okay, and so we can obviously know that he's just like giggling randomly, right? Yeah, of course you guys. No. <laughs> But then again, okay, it's I want to run a med medicine yeah. check on him. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> that is an 18. Alright. Uh, does your character know anything about diseases? Uh... If not, then <laughs> even with an 18, the only thing you know is that he has what you've only heard described as the shrieks. <laughs> oh. Okay. I I wouldn't I mean, know how like okay, so I don't think I know how to heal that because I come from warriors, not. She's a like, paladin, isn't she? Immune to diseases, so wouldn't she know a little bit? <laughs> Being immune to it doesn't mean you know anything about it. Oh. Yeah, I just know that I can't get affected <laughs> by them. I, I'd try. In fact, I don't think I'd study anything that can't affect me. What am I learning? Well. <laughs> <laughs> What, uh, everybody else? Yeah, Avery. Avery is just going to. Avery is just going to kind of like look up at him. I was like, "Uh, you have something called the shrieks." The fuck is that? Same thing as Hello. the shrieks. All right. Um, how long is this uh, tattoo gonna do me? Oh yeah, we did roll that. Uh, the tattoo rules. Use, where's, yeah. Yeah, these are always small and simple, right? Because they're spells. Um, yeah. Then I need uh, 1d6 from you. Three. Three. Uh, total of six hours to finish the tattoo. All right. Well, uh, I'm going to get started on it while everybody else is just chit-chatting. Okay. Technically, long rests are six hours and then two hours of downtime where you guys can do whatever it is you need to do. So you can actually say that you started two hours ago and you have four hours left. Dope. I'm assuming my two hours was in the beginning when I took the scroll. <laughs> you don't have two hours. Yeah, you use your two hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. You're the you're, you're gonna be the last one to wake then. up. You're just gonna wake up to the sound of bzzz. <laughs> <laughs> well, wouldn't this be like an old tattoo? So it'd just be like a kit, like occasional hit, a hitting of a needle. Pretty much. Hmm. In a way, I mean, he's gotta put new tattoos on them to do spells. That's how he decided he wants his spells to be. His spells are on his body. He's basically pointing out that he wouldn't have a tattoo machine. It would be like old, the old Asian stuff yeah. where you have the... Oh, the oh, yeah, the yeah, spray. yeah. That makes sense. Then, yeah, it'd be that. Yeah, that's what not I was pointing out. That was, makes, that makes so more magical sense. To, not so magical to tattoo machine. <laughs> I just thought it'd be got better. The little, got the cart with the little cups wrapped up in saran wrap. Got the gloves on. <laughs> Just travel to the future just to tattoo himself. Maybe. Uh, you never know. Oh boy. All right. So, uh, what's it, what's the plan here, guys? Oh, fuck. Oh, good morning, everybody. Oh. All right. First of all, first of all, Avery is going to go to Taslin and be like, "Why did you keep on asking him questions?" I was, okay. Look here. I was curious. I was protective. I wanted to make sure we were okay. I wanted to make sure you're okay. And we just fought a bunch of people who look like that dude. 
Okay, sorry, my internet was being fucky. I didn't hear any of that. Yeah, do it again. <laughs> do it all my time. Run it back. Come on, coach. I said I was curious. I was protective of the party and you. I wanted to make sure he was a good guy because we just fought a bunch of people that looked like him, and I didn't want to have to take him out also. Obviously, that was he my meant God. something. Huh? <laughs> that was my oh, that, god your god like your higher power that you worship yes oh, why didn't you say anything I'm sorry I was too busy being all, just being awestruck at the fact that my god showed up in front of me conversation keeps getting okay. interrupted by laughter in the other room <laughs> <laughs> Why am I laughing so much? <laughs> I already told you, you have the shrieks. What the fuck is that? What does that mean? I don't know, we gotta go to Agatha. God damn it! Lucky Agatha well, again. Well, whatever, whatever we did, you became normal age, you got more power on your amulet. It's alright. I am I am just so mortified by the fact that my god had to come to me and be like, cut it out. Cut what out? Uh, I don't think I've been any more embarrassed in my entire life. <laughs> Look. Not everybody, I didn't know he was a god. And not every, not, it's not every day you meet a god. I mean... I'm sorry, but look, it, it worked out in the end. We're all safe. We're all rested. He kept his word. He's pointing us in the right direction. He says we have a battle. We have a bunch of battles ahead of us, or one big battle with five big bad guys. And, well, I, mean, I guess he helped more than enough. I, we got answers from him, though. Yeah, okay. Uh... It was in good intentions. Okay. All right. Just, uh, I was just, uh. Look, that was a lot. Fine. I was not expecting that. That was great. You're fine. He's fine. We're all fine. I'm sure he didn't take anything by it. He tried to make me want to follow him. So apparently it wasn't that bad. Yeah, uh, I owe him so many more better offerings. Jesus. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> well, well, let me see if I have any more. Do we have any more apples in the bag of holding? I ate all of mine. I don't think we have apples in the bag of holding. Hold on. <laughs> that was more. That was more <laughs> meant to be a bit. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, there's my height chart. I, have I didn't actually put any apples in the bag of holding. It was meant to be a bit. Oh, okay. <laughs> Dang. I just have a bunch. I have a, I have a bunch of cloth, a weird duck mask, and Avery's longbow still, that her mommy made her. Yeah. I I think it's a Venus longbow, but. Okay, Avery oh, is yeah. going to. Yeah, Lucia's not here, so don't, don't interact with Lucia right now. Oh, yeah, it's a Venus. <laughs> is anybody home? Oh, that really worked um... well last time somebody said that. As everyone starts walking out, another fit of laughter is done, and now everyone that's near Thor has to make a con save. Oh, shit. Avina, Avery, and Taz. Good news, you're in Avery's new aura, so you get plus... You get a plus one! Yippee! Yeah, plus one. Don't use it all in one place. I don't like this. <laughs> Constitution saving? Yep. Uh, 16. Okay. Uh, okay, so avoid Thorlock the Plague. Got it. What did you say, Taz? 15. Okay, there you go. I got a good roll for once. I have a strong constitution. Uh, Vina, how'd you do <laughs> with your plus one on top of everything? Are you muted, Avina? 
Sorry, 14. Yeah. All right, so all three of you passed, um, and I will let you know that you are immune for the rest of the day. Oh, so he's contagious. Okay. Technically, under table, none of y'all know that. You just know that yes. he laughed, y'all went by, felt weird for a second, and got away from him. Gotcha. Alright, so Taz remembers that the uh, Avery's god, now that we know. Oh, uh, yes, yeah, so as you make your way, you would actually see this door is now cracked open. Alright. Uh, right. I... But yeah, you can finish the whatever you were saying. Oh, go ahead, Avery. Uh I was going to ask to see uh, to like see if any of like the now dead bodies had any sort of like I don't, I don't know, blunt weapons or anything. Um, no, they don't. They all had daggers. Ah, oh, dang. Okay, so I guess Avery is just for now going to keep her sheath on her sword. Okay. And. Haslin remembers that we are he said the next our, our, the path was uh, now to go through that door so going to head towards sorry I'm tangled up here alright yeah I'm fine I'm just technical difficulties okay does anyone okay. else uh, want to talk no we're good um, <laughs> no we're not allowed Oh, go ahead. Anybody talk. Go ahead. No, anybody talk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tazlin's going to go through no. the door. Oh, go ahead, Avery. Avina. I was, I was just going to say, well, so it looks like we have to go through the door into where uh, Tomatis was, and then uh, there was another door down there. So we, we probably better just go, you know, let's, let's knock a little bit on this door and just see if he's still in there so we are not oh, we're, we're, we're Avery's friends. god <laughs> yeah we're friends friends we not. go back we go back the door's cracked it's okay yeah. it is also dark in there there's no light coming through the crack at all okay, he also I... said he wasn't going to be there when we were yeah he said he wasn't going to be there he did say that yes um so as i see that it is dark I am going to take, uh, do I have, yes I do. I'm going to light one of my torches. Okay. Fair enough, all right. And we'll walk in. All right, the room is completely empty. There's no altar, there's no marking on the ground, there's no table, oh. it's just a blank room. Oh, uh, I just look out and be like, He's gone. So is everything else. This is now getting really weird. But he did say there was this door over here that we had to go through. Uh, yeah, I did right. tell you I that it was my now god. It's, so. Now it's weird? Now it's weird. <laughs> well, I mean, we didn't see a moving company come through and move his stuff, so... What's a moving company? <laughs> Something I heard about in another another in my travels it's a band of people with wagons i think you've heard of them i think it's called like i think it's called like two sons moving i don't remember but anyways um two brothers with a wagon <laughs> they use wagons they help you move from realm to realm it's kind of weird yeah is it, is it like that oregon trail <laughs> thing going on what the oregon i don't know yeah, but Oregon's you can get Oregon. <laughs> I don't know, but there's some on the trail that cast dysentery. You don't survive it. it it's kind of hey, weird, hey, too. Hey, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah uh, but if you make it through it and you, you get gold or something, I've heard that folktale. No, something same. like that, yeah. I was expecting an organ trail joke to follow it. I was trying to, but he yeah. I was going to be like, yeah, you know, there's things on the inside of your body. Yeah. Anyways, bro. Uh, yeah, there is, in fact, a door on that side. Yeah, he told us about the door. 
So, uh, yeah. uh, do you want my going to open the door? Do you want my torch so you can see, or should I hold on to it back here? That's all good. There is light at the end of the hallway, as you see, um, in a room. There is one, at least one of the clerics standing there, and you see this energy coming off to this glowing sigil on the ground, and there are these gray, smoky bodies that seem to be coming up from the sigil that's uh, permeating the light itself. As you open the door and the light from the torch comes through, uh, you'll see the one that, uh, the one right here look over and uh, you'll see one final burst of energy and the shadows will begin to form into bodies before they start running. And you hear the sound of at least two sets of footsteps. That okay. didn't sound good. Well, and these are your bodies. Well, the bodies are still forming, as you can see them in front of you. The energy is still glowing off the off the sigil, and the bodies are slowly solidifying. Road just spawned out of nowhere. All right, would you guys wanted to say that we waited four hours to go in said room? <laughs> <laughs> Are you suggesting a short rest? Can I have my uh, third level no. spell slots, please? <laughs> <laughs> no? Okay. No, well, have at it. Alright. Taz is gonna go in. Yeah, that's a good job. Good job, Taz. Alright. Give you the rest of the room. I'm gonna stand right here and kind of look back and be like, anybody else coming? <laughs> Yeah, I'm right here. As, Thor not us. as you get closer, you me the first body forms. And I'm also going to do the thing for Heskin. The second body forms. What's the thing? Battle mode. El battle mode. Is it battle mode or is it the other thing? It's the other thing. All right. Oh, so. what, what, all? Uh, you got to come to more sessions, Thor. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Listen, right. my life's busy. Go ahead and describe it then. Okay. I don't remember it. I take out <laughs> this giant sheet of black, and I put Heskin oh. in said giant sheet, fold it up. Right. So he lays... I was just going to smuggle his kid. <laughs> yeah, he pretty had... much. He pretty much <laughs> lays down the cloth. He puts Heskin into said cloth, which... Heskin seems to go down as if it was a hole, and then he picks that cloth back up and folds it to put it in his pocket. Boom, boom. And while doing yeah, that, boom. the other two nice bodies bit. form. In front of you st uh, stand four dark-skinned cr uh, creatures. Let me go here. Let me do this. Let me do... Dad, you want to do the thing? <laughs> Um, I'm gonna put it into. Let's do the thing. Should, you know I, should we do the thing? <laughs> I'm just gonna do this. This is what they look like. I don't have a handout for you, but I'll just do, do this move right here. Do what thing? That's what, what they the look fuck? like. I can't it's see. Right it it's yeah, I can't see it. Yeah, right. Damn. You have it all blacked out. No. Uh, go up top. There you go. There you go. What the fuck? Oh. These, they, is, is, they look like ghouls. They, they look like, like gargoyles. Is one of them a key master? The other one, the... Uh... Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it is. I got that. Sheesh. Hilarious. Oh, oh my gosh. Key master. <laughs> is Lucia just not joining us? No, Lucia is not making it today. Oh, sorry, Lucia. Oh, yeah, yep. Lucia is going to join you. <laughs> In game? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> ah, she's <laughs> going to chill up for a while. Uh, these she's things, it's, it's, these it's things are called. Hours. No, she's not it's been a dog. It's a long day. These things are called Astigos, and as you guys again keep getting closer, they begin to take their proper size. Oh dear oh, God. God! Fuck! No! Don't Certainly do that. Certainly, you didn't think they were done, did you? Don't do that. <laughs> Fun. I am 
the uh, key master. You need to go and go. We haven't had enough fun beating this up for the past three seconds. As they finish taking their form, they look around for a moment, oh. and then as soon as they see you, the only living creatures in the other room, all of them flur out their wings and let out a loud hiss that has this growl undertone inside their mouth. You can almost see the fire seeping out from inside them. Oh, God. That's kinky. <laughs> uh, roll initiative. Uh, and then deal with this. <laughs> roll initiative and deal with this. Great. Oh, yay. Dude, my dice suck today. Opposed to any other day. Right, what's new? They're not rolling too hot so far. Let's see how the other two do. Okay, well, looks like y'all might get to go first anyways. Yippee! Oink. The one I have time a roll, goddamn nat 20. I am still... Am I gonna still be able to use like wrathful smite with my uh short sword technically sheathed? Yeah, I mean it's still just gonna do blunt da blunt damage. Uh, also, uh, I mean they were summoned demons, so take that into consideration. The fucking demon. Hint, hint. Can't imagine that being a, a problematic situation, but. <laughs> Lucia is. Oh my god, Lucia's got a crazy initiative plus. Yeah. Um, the alert. Dear the god. <laughs> Apparently, so does Thor. Hi. That's what happens when you're rolling at 20. Alright, well, no duplicates. So, Thor, you get to start us out. Uh, um, uh... I, lo I love how I'm bottlenecking everybody. And the last one to go out of all of us. I'm just gonna do it right here. I'm well, gonna yeah, but tell you people go, to move you the, the fuck out of the way, and I'm gonna throw a dagger at that one. <laughs> all right, go for it. You can go through friendlies. Yeah, I don't really want to get in there yet. Fair enough. And if I can get my D4 around here, that would be 12. A twelve does not hit. No, I'm sorry. Uh, that was twelve damage. I, I forgot to roll. You got hit first. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Sixteen to hit. Sixteen does hit and twelve damage. All right, so twelve damage. All yeah. right, a solid stab. There you go. Oh, when that. the hit damage first. When the dagger, no, you really shouldn't. <laughs> but you, when, the, when the dagger impales into the creature, you guys just see black blood start oozing off of it. Like one. Uh, anything else? Um, I don't really don't think I can do anything to be honest with you. All right, cool. Roll me a um, uh, roll me a con save, Thor. Actually, hold on. Bonus action stealth since I'm behind people. Okay, I still need a con save regardless. I'll do the stealth first. Um, that will be a. Let me look at this. Yeah, seventeen. All right, with well, seventeen, yeah, you can successfully use Row as a human shield. Okay, yeah. and then you want, and then I need uh, a DC. I need, I, I'm sorry, I need a con save from you. Okay. If I cannot roll my dice off my desk, <laughs> uh, that is a nineteen. Nineteen. All right. Uh, you fought off the urge to let out the most boisterous laugh you could muster. <laughs> oh. Rogar has to roll Constitution. No, <laughs> or backstab. Technically not yet, since I didn't laugh. That is true, actually. Um, cool. Uh, next up is Lucia. I imagine... Also, just a heads up, I may lose internet connection for a second. Well, don't. Um... Well, no you. <laughs> uh, I guess she'll just... Uh, magic missile, I guess. Uh, the same one. Yeah, she'll line up in the back. Uh, so 3d4 plus 3. 7 damage to the same one that Thor hit. Uh, that's Jeez the first level as well. That was minimals, yeah, that's crazy. Uh, and then it's Avena's turn. Um, so Avena is going to be like 
hey, uh, can I get on your shoulders to Thorgar? Uh, and... Thorgar, how? Or I'm sorry, do you mean do you mean Taslin? Yeah, cause oh, cause he's in front. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah uh, Taslin, how tall are you again? Five something, six something. Six something. Um, six five. And Vina, you are four two. Ooh, you you'd have to. You know what? Not including the head. Yeah. Okay. You could you could fit on his shoulders in this ten foot high hallway. Okay, um, and then I um, definitely control. shoot my longbow at that first fucking Well, let's do acrobatics do first and Taslin uh, athletics. All right. Okay, so whatever. Um... <laughs> what if we this get a nat well 1 and a nat 20? <laughs> this went well last time it happened. <laughs> so wait, so mine is athletics? No, yours is uh, acrobatics to balance on his shoulders. Okay, so 21. Okay. 19. Okay. So you get on his shoulders and Taz and you're able to manage it without losing balance. Uh, yeah. Alright, that would be movement, we'll say. So, you okay. can go ahead. So Alright, what, five movement? Damn it, I forgot to do my thing. I would say All half right. movement at the least. Sure, that's fine. 16 plus 9 to hit is, uh, whatever, that 25. 16 plus, yeah, that hits. Same, this one, or a different one? Which one are you hitting? Same one? Okay. And so I got... Seven damage. Seven damage. Not bad. Another arrow strikes him. Well, I guess the first arrow strikes him. And some more black blood begins to ooze out. Okay, and so I hit him again. Alright, go for uh, it. 17 plus 9 to hit. That also hits. Go ahead. Um, 3 plus 4 damage is 7 damage again. 7 damage again. Okay. Two arrows embed in this guy, and he lets out a bit of a shriek as uh, the air, uh, arrows stay impaled into him. Is that it? Okay, and then I use my horde breaker feature, and I go after this other guy. Okay. Um, 18 plus 9 to hit. That hits. Go ahead and do your damage. Oh, crappy damage. 1 plus 4. 5 damage? Yeah. Alright, uh, you turn your bow to shoot at the other one, and, uh, mm -hmm. it does hit him, but it goes through the wing on, like, the fleshy part, so it just kind of does a little damage. Yeah. Alright, that brings us to Row. Uh, let's say... Alright. Well, since Ro can't do the thing he wants to do, because it's not done yet. <laughs> Although this will be perfect timing. Fucking <laughs> perfect timing. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll have to do my only other AoE, which is what? Wither and Blue. Okay. But, no. Nah, nah, fuck that shit. Okay. I'm just going to do Witch Bolt. All right, which bolt? Yeah, I'll do which bolt. And cast it second Dark. level. Dark. So two D twelve <laughs> onto a homie right here. Plus, what did he say? Did you did you roll the hit first? Uh, that is a 24. Okay, that hits. So, yeah, uh, that's. You said, are you doing that second level, he said? So, yeah, yeah so. Uh huh. Against the guy on the left. Alright. Kabow. Kabow. Not bad. Close. 23. 23. Anything else? Dead air, air breath. All right, yeah, your blue lightning smacks him, and he gets this light blue aura as your uh, witch bolt stays on him. This one's gonna kind of go up on its wings and start flapping just to move forward, and it is going to do a claw attack against Taslin first. 
That is a 19. That hits. All right. And then we're going to do a bite attack against uh, Avina on on his shoulders. Uh, and that is a 24. That hits. All right. Uh, so we'll do Taslin's thing first. So Taslin, I need a con save. As you take 10 slashing damage. That is a nat 20. So All that's 25. Right. Then no side effect for it. Um, just a 10 okay. damage. And you're not raging yet, so full 10 damage. Yep. And then for the bite attack, uh, I need another, a con save from you as well. Uh, the initial damage is only 7 piercing. That's great because I got a 7 on my con save. Alright, so 7 piercing plus... Twenty-two poison damage, which I think is half because you are dwarf, right? Yeah. So yeah. eleven poison on top of the seven piercing, for a total of eighteen damage from the bite. Avery, you're up. All right, I am going to cast Wrathful Smite. Okay. And... You can't... Oh, here. oh, okay. That works. You squeeze on by through everybody. Get through. Yeah. All right. Yeah, and me coming through. I... <laughs> <laughs> Just the giant cow shoving everyone by. <laughs> this narrow hallway. I like to think the hallway is eight feet, so you could, like, sidestep it. I just imagine it <laughs> running through the hallway like a linebacker, just fucking hitting everybody. <laughs> I'll I'll make you make a a, a save <laughs> for your balance. No, no, it's really as much as I should with Avina on my shoulders, see if I keep her up there or not drop her. <laughs> Don't stop! Stop digging yourself into this hole. It's all good. Go ahead, Avery. I'm just trying to make it interesting. All right. Um, I'm going to double hit Bruv. Ooh, not twenty. Oh wow. Uh, well then, let's do the first one first, because that one gets the Wrathful Smite on top of it. Did you keep yeah. your sword sheath, or did you take it out for this one? No, it's... It... Oh, hold on. I'm gonna keep it sheathed. Alright. Um, then it's gonna be... I'm still like he's pretty scared shitless right now. <laughs> From her god being like, <laughs> cut it out. Um, alright, well... He also said it would be worse if you coming up. But anyways, um, we'll keep the damage the same. It's just going to be bludgeoning. Uh, since you net okay. 20, it'll be 2d8 plus 10 plus your Wrathful Smite, which should be, I believe, 2d8 as well. Double checking. 6. So 2d6 psychic damage on top of 2d8 plus 10 bludgeoning damage. The 2d8 plus 10 plus my 2d6 for my, uh, Raffles Smite, right? Smite, yeah. yeah. Okay. That's a total of 31 damage. Just All from right. one attack. Well, that Dude. attack was enough to finish off this guy, so you hit him so hard across the head, you hear a, a crack in his neck, and as he, his body falls and hits the ground... A quick eruption of flame engulfs his body and quickly evaporates, leaving nothing but a small little pile of ash and the smell of burnt sulfur in the air. Okay, so I can still move to guy over here and then hit him. Yeah, this one does not have Wrathful Smite on it, so a regular hit. Uh, 
Does a 22 hit? 22 does hit. Go ahead and do your damage. 1d8 plus 5. <laughs> Ten total damage. Ten? Alright. Not yeah. bad. Will that be all? Uh, yep. Yeah. Alright, Taz, you are up. Okay. I'm gonna bonus action rage. Alright. And then... Tentacle tail. Like too far away for me to use it. Right. Um. I'm gonna go here. With a bean on your shoulder. <laughs> With a bean on my shoulders. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> I am going to reckless attack. Homie here. <sighs> With my great axe. All right, go for it. All right, and I get advantage on the reckless attack on the first one. And that is a 25 hit. 25 hits, yes. All right, and then my second attack, I'll roll two. Mm, go ahead and roll your damage. You may be. Okay. okay. Six points of damage. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to speak up. Uh, yeah, go ahead and do your next <laughs> attack. <So laughs> uh, does a twenty-three hit? Twenty-three also hits. Another six points. <laughs> <laughs> no, this one's a little bit better. Uh, this is nine points of damage. Ooh, nine points. Two solid slashes go into him with a spew of black blood sprayed out of each splash, but he remains standing. Anything else? Um, no, that's it. All right. That's this one's turn first, and his attention is fully on the one that killed one. So, Avery. Okay. Both, both a bite and a claw attack for you. We got, does a... Probably not. A 13 hit? No. So I missed with the claw, but does a 25 hit. Unfortunately. Alright, so the claw just clangs against your armor, leaving a bit of a scratch mark, and then it lands a solid bite into uh, probably the side of your neck, maybe like upper shoulder. Uh, the initial yeah, damage is... 9... Piercing, and then I need a con save. Don't forget your plus one. Yep. Uh, ten? Ten is not gonna cut it. I'm gonna put these back. I don't need this. Dang it. So, with a ten on top of the nine piercing damage, you are gonna take. Twenty-five poison damage. Jesus! No, it's a bit overkill. Gods, your gods are Didymus, isn't it? Wait, hold on. Get, uh, I got the, the the the. Wait, does that work? Hold on. I got the back of the mountain. Does that work for? You got the what? Poison, uh, uh, from my species, I have back of I uh back of the mountain. Um. When I take damage, you can use your reaction to roll a d12, add your constitution modifier to the number rolled, and reduce the damage by that total. After you use this trait, you can't use it until you finish either a short or uh, finish a long rest. Oh, because you went with people. What are you, people of the yeah. forest? Mountain? Mountain, yeah. Back of the people mountain. of the dig get this. Yeah. Yeah. You take damage, you need your reaction. Uh, your question. Yeah, I mean, if you want to do that, go for it. I'm going to do that. Alright, D12 plus 1. 
Okay, I get that out. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. You decided to take like half my health in one hit. What did you roll? Oh, uh, ten. Oh, not bad. All right, you put that back on your bar. You good? Yeah. Five. Yeah, we're ten. Fifteen. And 20, make a little room for the next one. So that, oh once again, this time the claw attack will be for Avina and the bite will be for Tazlin. Avina, probably not, does a 12 hit? Nope. And Tazlin, does a 17 hit? Meets it. Meets it, it kills it. All right. So the initial bite damage is gonna be Eight damage, halving that down to four. And then I need a con save. You get a plus one on top of it all. Yippee. Sixteen. And he saves, so you take half of the damage of the poison. And since it's poison, you do take the full bit of whatever it is. So, ten, twenty... 28, halving that down to 14 poison damage. So I total 18 damage? Yes. The bite barely hurt, but you felt that poison. And bad news for you. There's another one ready to do the same thing. Claw attack for Avina. That's going to miss with an 8. And then a bite attack for Taz. And that is going to miss with a 12. He's not as he's not as good at this. Oh <laughs> <laughs> Thor, at the start yeah. of your turn, can you make me a con save? No. Give me a second. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, that is gonna be what's my con? Nineteen. All right, then you are good. You once again held back a fit of laughter to, uh, well, to do your turn. Okay, I'm gonna go. Well, my shit's like lagging. Uh, I'm gonna go there. All right. I'm going to stab him in the face. Go for it. Very big guy. Actually, do I get flanking bonus damage? Bonus thing for this? No, you don't. Get, well, you get sneak attack damage, but no advantage. I do. But no advantage. I guess. All right, fine. Ooh, I don't know if that's gonna hit. Fourteen? A fourteen does not hit. You son of a bitch! He Fine, was just I'll a little, attack. just a little too tall for your stab. Oh, okay. Uh, I guess offhand, if I'm allowed, right? Can't remember. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, you have an I offhand have... weapon, right? You just don't get your yeah, modifier yeah. with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flat roll. Uh, that's gonna be twenty-three. Twenty-three hits. Okay. So, your offhand is your it's dagger? Just, just a, uh, another rapier. I have two rapiers. Oh, that's right. That's right. It's a flat D8, which is four. Four D8. Just enough to cutting. make some black blood bleed. Yeah. Cunning disengage. I'm going to go back over here. Fair enough. Uh, Lucia. Let's give her... I, I guess she'd do something more effective. Well... Um, she likes Moonbeam. We'll give her Moonbeam. Because why not? I feel like she approaches every battle differently, so I'm really not 100% <laughs> what to have her do. Yeah. So, uh, um, have her throw stuff. I'll say she moved in a little closer, and then Moonbeamed on top of that guy, who's going to make a con save, which is not good. And so... What's the hit? How much health do you have? That'd be a bad roll. 2d10. Oh, wow. Yep. The moonbeam uh, literally sizzles this guy's body up in a similar fashion. As his body falls, a flame erupts to burn his body. And then whenever the flames are gone, uh, he's just left with a pile of ash and the smell of burnt sulfur permeating the air. Oh. Ew. Avina, uh, you are up. So I am going to um, cast 
cast Hunter's Mark on this guy. Okay. And then I'm going to shoot him with my longbow. All right. Go for it. Um, is... Technically, you are on Taslin's shoulder, so that means you would be five feet from the guy, so you have to do it at disadvantage. Um, eight plus nine to hit is seventeen. A seventeen does hit. That's a relief. Okay. <laughs> now you do remember you have the piercer feet, right? I'm sorry, what? You do remember you have the piercer feet. So basically, whenever you hit a creature that with something that does piercing damage, you can re-roll one of your uh, damage dice if you wish. You just have to use the new roll. I don't know if you've been taking no, advantage of that. I forgot about. No, I forgot about the piercer feet. I don't. Yeah. And then whenever you get a nat twenty, a critical hit, you do a little extra damage than just double. Just want to make sure you remembered. I don't know if you did. It's been a minute since you used yep. it. Hundred <laughs> percent. Did not remember. So mm -hmm. I am gonna re-roll my d6. And it's a two instead of a one. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what's the What's the damage total though? Okay, so. Just two. <laughs> just. <laughs> just. <laughs> no, it's two plus four. Plus four. So ten. Ten damage. Okay. 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 All right. Anything else? Because it's still at disadvantage if I try to hit him again, right? Yeah, because you're within five feet and you're doing a ranged okay, attack. I'm gonna do it again. I don't care. Okay, the disadvantage again. Okay, twelve plus nine to hit. And the nine. twenty-one hits, yes. And then my damage is eight plus four, so twelve damage. Twelve damage, not bad. Anything else? Yes, because this guy is then also within five feet of dude row over here. Correct, so, uh, disadvantage attack on him as well. Okay. 13 plus 9 is something. So, anything that hits will do. And the piercer feet, how often can I use that? Probably not twice a month or anything. Else. Yeah, always. You can always reroll a die. Oh, I can always do it? Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, it says oh once God. per turn, so maybe that's. Okay, well, Maybe I should add that. Right. Not right. like right now, but like you can just keep doing it in battle. Okay, well it doesn't matter because I re-rolled a one and <laughs> got a one. Alright, well so what's the damage? Four, four is eight damage. Eight damage to the guy on the side. Just putting arrows in them all. Uh, I will add that your arrows are burning up as their bodies are burning up. These arrows that are, you're embedding are being lost. Uh, Ro. Okay, thank you. You are up. Alright, alright. Fuck. Uh, fuck. Alright, um. Yeah, which bolt? Okay. Oh, wait, um, yeah, because the one you had it on died, so. Uh, yeah. <laughs> nah, I'll do Wither and Bloom. Okay, fair enough. Uh, where at? Right here. There we go. Alright. So the two of them I need to make saves, right? Con saves? Checking it. Um, Different radius. They make a con save. Two d six necrotic damage if they fail it, and then you get to pick one creature, and they can use a hit die. Uh, well, the one on the bottom got a nat twenty, and the one on the top got a what is their con? Uh, eleven. So, so he'll take two d six, and the other one will take nothing. And who can hit, uh, who can use a hit die to heal up? Uh, Taz Gavin. 
Kaz, go ahead and roll your hit okay. die. Remember to add your con. Ten damage. Ten damage ain't bad. Ooh, seventeen. All right. Uh, my spell casting ability for modifier plus seventeen. Plus That's crazy. Taz. My con Constitution save, right? No, plus your con four. modifier or, like no. like. It's your hit die. No, so then 15. No, his hit die plus... Your D12 plus, plus 2 four. is your max. Plus 4. Yeah, so it's, four, so it's 14. It's my spellcasting modifier. Oh, is it yours? Yeah, it's plus hit 4. Hit dice, every game number of hit points equals to the roll plus... Oh, your... Oh, yeah, so it is plus 4. Oh, so it's 16. Okay. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Uh, anything else? That'll be it. Alright, Avery, you are up. Okay, question. If I go through, like, uh, Lucia's thing, do I get hit by it? Uh, the moonbeam is rated E for everyone. Oh, dang. Dang. Okay. <laughs> 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 that's pretty good. That, that's pretty, yeah, that's pretty good. Also, uh, I don't, I, I forgot, I forgot to clarify, but I'm meaning to do non-lethal damage, so just knock them out rather than kill them. Oh, you already killed one, so... Oops. Whoopsies. <laughs> anyway, I just forgot to tell you, so it's fine. You made it one hallway without killing something. <laughs> Look at the work in progress. Okay, just go with it. Go all out. It already happened. <laughs> I just uh, forgot to tell you. Yeah, that ship sailed now, so <laughs> there's that. <laughs> anyway. It'll probably be fine, they're demons, you know? They're probably fine. <laughs> Five. And then hit this guy with a bit. Go for it. The 22 hit? A 22 does hit, yes. Go ahead and do your second attack. Okay. Does a 27 hit? 27 also hits. Go ahead and do both damage 2d8 plus 10. Twenty-two total damage. Not bad. Two smacks with your sheath blade, and uh, both Bonk did a good amount of damage. But he is still standing. Anything else? Uh, no. Taslin, you are up. Alrighty. I'm gonna do two great axe attacks on this guy here. Alright, go for it. With that vantage. Uh, oh, that's right. Ooh, cool. Vantage. Does a 19 hit? 19 does hit. Go ahead and do your damage. So that's 8 plus 5, 13 plus 2, 15 points. 15 is just enough to slash him down. Another set of fire burns as he falls and his the air just fills with that burnt sulfur as he's left to be just a pile of ashes. And then I'm going to take my second attack on that last one. All right. 22 hit. 22 does hit. 14, 16 points of damage. 16 damage. Not bad. Anything else? Nope, that's it. All righty. <clears throat> Let me see something real quick. I can just imagine Avina hanging on for dear life as I'm swinging my axe with all my uh -huh. might. <laughs> wow. 
pretty much the whole room. This guy cast darkness. Oh no. Oh, it's a bullshit! Oh, no, I'm gonna do this just so we can still see our guys, but if you are in the dark, you cannot see. And he's gonna make two attacks on Avery with advantage because he can see in the dark. Uh. Alright, does a 24 hit? Yeah. I'll go ahead and do the next one too. Uh, does a 18 Wait, would hit. Moonbeam be able to do light thing? The same? Would what be able to do light thing? Do that yet. The, the Moonbeam thing? Uh, the Moonbeam yeah. doesn't actually provide any light within the darkness. I do get what you're saying. Uh, it just kind of exists in there. And on the spot it is on, you can see that little that, that square in particular. That's pretty dumb. Oh, so it just lights up five feet and then nothing. Yeah, because it's not magical light. It's just the magic that has light. And magical light. darkness uh, has to be uh, expelled with magical light or dispelling. But yeah, does it 18 uh, hit? Also, no. Okay. So uh, the bite attack would have been what landed and the claw attack would have been what missed. So, need a yeah. con save from you as he is rolling, let's see, a whopping seven damage from the piercing of the bite as you felt the bite come in. As you felt yourself get bit, you just hear the sound of another clang against your armor as he attempts to claw at you at the same time. And how was that con save? That was a 12. 12 is not going to cut it. And so you're gonna Dang take, it! you're gonna take the poison damage as well, which is going to be a whopping twenty-two damage. <laughs> Suck it up, Buttercup. Uh, speaking of Thor, uh, go ahead and roll me a con save, please, at the start of your turn. <laughs> Are you going to be mad if I keep rolling 19? I'm dead ass, dude. No, That's my be... third 19 in a fucking row. No, because you're going to be rolling that so much, you're bound to fail it. But yeah, go ahead. You, uh, you're up. You can't see anything in front of you. Alright, so I just start fucking swinging daggers around. Uh, I'm going to yeet one in the darkest randomly and see what happens. <laughs> That's all I can do. Okay. Uh, are you, where, which direction are you eating this dagger? So I remember there was a thing over here, or, hang on, I remember there was, where's the damn ruler? Uh, thing over here, roughly. So I'm gonna okay. go that direction. Alright, um. Also, uh, that the... is gonna be... Yeah. You wanna do this? Well, I mean, it's not necessarily disadvantage, because I'm just eating it in a direction, so. Yeah, so if that's the direction, then it clings against a wall. Not even gonna make you roll well, it, because you pointed that way. Okay. So, anything else? It would, can I offhand throw a dagger? Is that a thing? Uh, I'll go ahead and allow it. Alright, what about this direction? Uh, another claim. <laughs> Bunch of bullshit! Alright, well, I got nothing. <laughs> uh, Lucia, I imagine, would just kind of... 1, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55... Please. No, please. 60. Please. I think 60 is it, but I imagine she would have gone up and down. Um, so we're going to leave it at that. And then Avina, you can, uh, what are you doing? I'm, I'm playing, sweating bullets over here. Playing chicken in the dark, huh? Um, yeah. so I have dark vision, so can I? Cast? Dark vision doesn't pass magical darkness. He casts darkness, okay. it's magical. You would have right, to have so... devil sight. Well, I'm still. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna move my hunter's mark. Can I? Does that work if I can't see him? I'm pretty sure you have to see them for hunter's mark. I hunter's think I mark. Right. I'll double check it. Uh, yeah, a creature you can see within range. So yeah, you can't see nothing. Right. Well, Last you know, he was right next to you. Oh boy. 
So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump down off of Kazlin's shoulders. And then I'm going to I mean, I'm just gonna hit. He was right here before? Yep, that's what you remember, and you wouldn't have heard so anything I, otherwise. Right, so I would jump down off of his shoulders, and then I would shoot towards him. Okay. Uh, do an acrobatics check. Um, acrobatics is uh, 17. Okay, yeah, you land just fine, even without being able to see. Ooh. Oh, uh, roll God. a d6. Oh, no. Two. <laughs> uh, as you were jumping off Taslin's shoulder, um, you couldn't really see where, like, your feet were, and you kick so hard, his battle axe falls out of his hand and just clings on the ground somewhere to the, to, to the east, or the west, sorry, the left. Sorry, Tess. Sorry about that. Oh. And uh, then I'm going to try to shoot, a, shoot him again, because I'm just like, well... <laughs> Alright, roll, roll a disadvantage. Um, okay, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that 2 is the disadvantage. Yep, mm -hmm. 2 plus 9 is 11. Do I hit him? No. Ro, you're up. Um... Is there anybody in there? Some of your <laughs> some of your teammates are missing, as far as you know, and you can't see anything in front of you. Okay, so even though I'm not in the bubble, I can't see in the bubble. You couldn't see in the bubble at all, anyways. It's darkness. He put a shroud of darkness. Hello, darkness, it, it my might, old friend. It might as well be the thickest <laughs> fog you've ever seen. Okay. Okay, okay. Well, I'm gonna cast um, Firebolt this way. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll it. Take it. That is a 19. Alright. You missed. Damn. <laughs> That's it. Avery, you know that you took Is damage it? on your right side. Yippee. That's uh, all. Time to try and hit something on my right side and see if it's there. Alright, swing with disadvantage. That's where blind fighting comes in handy. <laughs> <laughs> and how many of us have that? Zero. Yeah. Exactly. There's a lot now? that comes in handy that we don't have. An 18 with disadvantage? Yeah, that hits. Yippee! Do I need to roll my damage? Yeah, 1d8 plus 5, right? Yeah, I, you didn't tell me if I hit anything! I said you did. Yeah, he did. He I did. I said 18 oh. hits. Oh. Uh, 12 damage. Alright, 12 damage. Alright. Anything else? Uh, and my other attack. Go for it. Disadvantage, still. Oh, you are so lucky. I rolled a nat 20 and an 11. Uh, 11 total or 11 on the die? No, 11, uh, uh, 11 on the die. So, 19. Like, I rolled... What? So you rolled 19. 19 hits. If DM gives it to you, just take it. I'll just try to be fair. If you roll the 11, plus your stuff. 1d8 plus 5. Uh, 11 damage. Alright. Two very solid hits, and he lets out a hiss after those. That guttural hiss. Which, Taslin, gives you an idea of the direction he's in. As it's your turn. 
I know. I'm thinking. That's good. You probably <laughs> shouldn't. You don't do that very often. This is very rare. <laughs> level, level of exhaustion. <laughs> Trying to think of what Taz would do and what I should do. So I heard oh. the hists at least come from this direction. To the right of Avery, as far as you know. Well, the right of where you remember Avery being. Over here. So I'm going to move. I just right here. Into me. Pretty much. Um, I'll make you roll. Start walking. You know, roll it did, did you run forward or walk forward? Oh, I was carefully walking forward. All right. Uh, roll me a d4. Uh -oh. oh, no. Three. Three? All right, yeah. He rolled to go straight south. So, you go forward until you uh, okay. bump into Avery. All right. And then I remember... So, I did... He, as you said, I heard it come from the west. So, I'm going to take a swing with my dagger. Oop. Okay. In this... In this direction right here. Alright, go ahead with disadvantage. Wait, I don't see a dagger on your on your inventory. You don't have a dagger. Yes, I do. Yeah. Oh, that's right, you gave him a dagger. He has a dagger now. Alright, go ahead. Well, we also have the one that I bought from the smith that I had to have Avery go and get because I threatened because the shopkeeper. He had threatened them. Oh. I might have to update my notes. I thought she still had that. What an asshole. No, I can't. Oh, no. Alright, well, anyways. Go ahead. Uh, ooh. You. Is a 17 hit? Or not 17, I'm sorry. Uh, 13? No. Oh, I like okay. 17 better. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to take my next swing. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Does a oh that doesn't hit either a twelve. All right. Anything else? Uh no. All right. Then first up, Avery, claw attack coming for you on this one, and the bite is gonna go for Taslin. Avery does a probably not a uh, fourteen. Nope. Taslin does a. 18 hits. Yep. I need a con save from you. You get that plus one because you're near Avery. Yippee. Worst con save. It's going to be nine piercing damage. Half that to five because you're raging. And how'd the con save go? 20, 21. All right. So you did save. You take half the poison damage, which is and only 19, meaning you take. 10 plus the 5 for a total of 15 damage. 15. God damn. Yeah, you know how I feel. Well, if it wasn't for Rogar giving me health earlier. Alright. I'd be in I bad, try. bad ways. Uh, Thor. Bad ways. Thor, you're up. I need a con save from you to start your turn. Looks like it. You won't pick it. Let's see. <laughs> 21. You're still good. Go ahead. Alright. I guess I'm just gonna keep throwing daggers. I don't know. How many daggers do you, do you have? Daggers. Great question, to be honest with you. I have no clue. 
I only have How two. How do you not know? I only have two on your sheet. You threw I mean, them I never really specified, turn. to be honest with you. <laughs> I uh, will hand them a bag of daggers. So <laughs> <laughs> I just start eating. <laughs> I mean, I you, have, you did I have, have it, eight. so. <laughs> eight daggers. All right, fuck it. I'm just going to go straight down the middle, I guess. Okay, roll for that. <laughs> That is going to be a 17. All right. A 17 hits Taslin. Fuck. Oh, no. oh Jesus. <laughs> to be fair, this shouldn't hurt too bad. 1d6 plus whatever. No, it's 1d4 nah, it's plus... It's d4. Uh, d4. d4 plus 4. Plus uh, 5. Be seven. No, plus 4. Five. Plus 4. You're yeah, right. it's 4. 7. 7 damage. Uh, half that to 4 for Taslin. As you feel a dagger just pierce into the back of your thigh. What the fuck? A little, dra a little dramatic, Tazlin. I saw that. Uh, anything else for Thor? <laughs> um. <laughs> what do you love? Did I hit anybody? <laughs> yeah, you hit me! Yes. Son of a bitch, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna shoot it where the fucking. I'm gonna go a little bit off. Where's the damn ruler? Where did it go? There it is. I'm going to go a little bit off, say, like, right in here. All right, go for it. Oh, wait. Idiot. Ooh. Remember That'd be a dirty 20. Is that a disadvantage? You're throwing into wait, the dark. Wait, why? It's not really a disadvantage if I'm just throwing in dark. Now, if I was in the dark throwing, maybe, but I'm just throwing it in just an idiot. All right, fine. It's fine. 21 still misses, so... Okay, well, you know what? <laughs> Next. Uh, I'm going to presume Lucia would want to check the other side. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. No luck. Uh, and since she's not here, I'm just doing the nice thing of going around you guys. Technically, she wouldn't have known. Uh, Avina, you are up. Playing nice the whole fight, to be honest. I could have darkness with all of them. <laughs> but, uh, anyways, Avina, are you there? I keep on turning off my mic. And I then... guess it was the best case scenario to hit Tazlin, so it means half damage, so. <laughs> That's all good. Um, yeah, so I am going <laughs> to just. Be like, I mean, I probably heard a sound over here at some point, so I'm going to shoot over there. Okay. Mm. And that is uh, 15 to hit. 15 does hit. You found him. Wow. Okay. Great. You actually clicked right on top of where he went. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, he moved. Oh, shit. Of course he moved. Is... Of course he moved. <laughs> My damage is 2 plus 4, so... And with that, the arrow embeds into him, and with a sh final shriek, he falls to the ground, and the darkness goes away as the flames erupt, burning him to the ash, just like the others. The smell of sulfur, <laughs> all that lingers after their encounter. As the darkness lifts, you guys can know, uh, Tazlin, you would see that Avery has got a hell of a bite, like, right on the <laughs> lower neck. Yeah, I am um, very beat up. How, by that bite, can I tell how damaged she is? You can roll medicine to investigate it further. Four. Uh, no, you don't know nothing. You're just like, damn, with a bite. <laughs> looks, like it, looks like it sucks. <laughs> you have been terribly with medicine checks. I think he's uh, just bad at all checks. You, I'm going to go pick up my axe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take the dagger out of my thigh also and kind of chuck it back at Thorgar. <laughs> Just so you know, Thor, that, that the bag of daggers came from the cultists. They went and collected all the daggers. Yeah. All right. Well, I should probably hold on to these since I have the best shot here. 
<laughs> oh, you think you have the best shot, just huh? Standing there hey, you want to throw daggers? Oh my gosh. I'm looking down at my thigh with your, where your dagger just was. Hey, man, I'm just shooting in the dark. I mean, shit, it's one in a million, but hey, I guess I hit you, baby. <laughs> Not gonna lie. I, I could have fixed that and totally forgot. Oh, Idiot. At least I think I could. Would have dancing lights fixed that or no? No. No. You need a stronger spell than that. Yeah. What are you trying to do? Disco, disco in the fucking dance floor? So darkness, magical darkness spreads from a point, uh, filling a 15 foot radius sphere in the area. Um. If any spells, er, if any spells area overlaps with an area of light created by a spell of second level or lower, the spell, uh, the the light is, uh, the spell that created the light is dispelled. So technically, the moonbeam should have been gone, but. Oh, so it would have had to been. Your hurt. dancing light would have canceled out the moment you spawned it. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh, never mind. Okay, so I take this opportunity to chug a potion of healing. Okay, that uh, twenty or sorry, ten points. Uh, and while y'all are chilling and relaxing and arguing with Thor, uh, let me get another con save, Thor. No. Just random and consistent. So I'm good. going to. I, uh, I'm All right, <laughs> you got your wish, DM. I got a nat one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, you fall to oh, the ground, boy. incapacitated, in a huge fit of laughter. Oh. Uh, who took the t the potion? Avery. Avina. What? No. Avina. 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 All right. So what else are we doing? I have uh, 25 lay on hand points. Alright, so you have 5 left? Yeah. But at least I'm no longer nearly dead. Fair enough. <laughs> and then I'm going to go over to Thor and help him get up. Yay. Yeah. You can at least I it... did it at the end of the fight. You can help him stand up, but he just keeps laughing. As they're doing all this, so, I'm just gonna do keep we... doing my tattoo. That's fair. Do we know what's wrong with him? Like, uh, I, I did a medicine check and told everyone that he has some, uh, what is known as the shriek. And that is all we know. We don't know what that is. We don't know what that is or what it does. I just know that's a, that's what it's called. Okay, so I'm gonna try a medicine check also. Okay, you have knowledge of diseases in your in your background. Sure. Yeah, I got a good medicine check as well. I just don't have knowledge with diseases. Avina, you have... I mean, you're an outlander. You would know a little bit about... I think you would know about diseases as an outlander. Okay, so 17. What, 17? Um, you would know that the proper name, and based off of his symptoms, he has what's called cackle fever. Um... <laughs> And if you have a way to cure a disease that can get rid of it, uh, I believe greater restoration gets rid of it. What's lesser restoration get rid of? Anything? Uh, is that the I would end imagine end it does, end. otherwise it's kind of useless. Oh, uh, and, 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 and uh, it can, yeah, actually, lesser restoration can end a z in one disease as well. So yeah, lesser okay, restoration okay. or anything that cures a disease will will do it. Okay, so I cast lesser restoration on him. Oh, you have that already? Yeah, I do. Oh shit! The ranger has <laughs> oh, that wow. at the ready. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, I do. Of all the, that's crazy. That is that is dope. I would not have expected <laughs> the ranger to prepare that. That's crazy. Well, yeah. If you wanna, if you wanna cast a second level spell slot to do lesser restoration, then uh, you cure his uh, his cackle fever. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Cackle I'll buy you a beer. <laughs> All right. 
So you still have cool. the I'm one in, point in. of exhaustion until a long rest, just so you know. What exactly does exhaustion do? Uh, your, one, your one point of exhaustion is just going to give you disadvantage on uh, ability checks. So. Gotcha. But yeah, uh, with that, the room Good. is cleared. Um, all that's left is the seagull, which continues to have a small blue glow to it, but uh, otherwise seems uh, unuseful, inactive-ish, in a way. Can I roll investigation on it? If you want. Okay. 19. All right. Uh, with a 19, uh, closer inspection of the sigil lets you you can see that it is a uh, death focus sigil. So uh, the creatures that they can summon through it are pertain are pertaining to death in some way. Um, those creatures you fought, they're also known as death demons, but their real name is Ostigos. Okay, I'm just gonna reiterate that to the rest of the party. I ain't saying all that. <laughs> what? I'm kind of far away from you. What'd you say? Uh, you know me? <laughs> You're 15 feet away. Just grow some ears or something. I don't know. Grow some ears. <laughs> get, the, get the wool out of your ears, old man. I'm 17. I'm not old anymore. Oh, right, you fixed that, right? Right. Lucky. Alright, um... Anyway, so are we going to the next room, or...? I think that might be the best idea, is to keep continuing. I don't know if that's... the first of bosses we have to beat, or what the hell that was, but... Yeah. We should continue. Forward. Ever forward. Yep. All right. Uh, you find yourself going back into another hallway. Once again, about 10 feet high ceiling. Uh, this one makes its way to the back. It's fairly lit up slightly from these glowing spores that you can see along the walls. And as it goes down to the back, there is a dip into uh, like a maybe like two feet deep water that has this greenish tent inside of it. Okay. I feel like Lucia would throw some sort of fit about this, but I don't know how to do her character. Mm -hmm. Oh, she'd be Fair mad enough. that I'm basically uh, going off. I think she would actually demand to ride your shoulders, Taslin. I do think she would do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she All right, I'll, I will allow it. Um, uh, I, I'm going perfect. to investigate the water. Okay. To make sure it's not like deadly or something. Oh, yeah, that's twenty. All right. Uh, as you look closer at the water, you can tell that the greenish color is coming from some sort of algae, likely similar to the spores that are outside of the water. Okay, and the, and this isn't doing anything harmful to us or anything? That we can tell? That you can tell, no, yeah, no, you're fine. Okay, uh, looks like these are just, it's just algae that's making it green and nothing harmful. Uh, understood. So we should be fine. Uh, oh, I think I was muted. Oh. <laughs> Although, I don't think well, it's a good idea to try and guess has, any of the water. It has been oddly quiet, so maybe. Yeah, yeah we, we haven't heard any peep out of you. My, my bad. When I said I was doing the thing, I was also taking Heskin out. I hope so. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Do I have to clarify that at, every, at the end of every battle? I will do that. <laughs> It's, it's good to clarify, because he can suffocate. Um, yeah, so... You're splashing through this uh, two, uh, two feet deep water. You know, a little ankle deep stuff. 
Well, oh, ankle yeah. deep for us. Maybe not so body. much for Avina. Do, wait, Avina, do you need to be carried? Um, <laughs> no, I'm I'm good. It did just come up to my, you know, my knees instead of my ankles. Cool. Though. Okay, <laughs> I was just make, I was just making sure. Being li I'm I'm being genuine here. I wasn't trying to make fun of your height. I was genuinely asking to make sure you're okay. <laughs> Oh, I was making fun of my height. Yeah, cause she, it's it's about waist deep for for Avina. So, uh, but yeah, as you go around yes. that, as you go around that wall, you see a uh, crumbled inside that looks like uh, that doesn't look like nice stone wall like the rest of the place. Uh, almost like it was unfinished, um, and then it curves into a long hallway. Go ahead and give you the whole hallway. And of course, the water goes all the way to the end. Hmm. Oh, well, looks like we keep going. I'm gonna do the stealth thing and gonna do the lead. Okay. Uh, uh, roll, roll, for that. roll stealth at disadvantage yeah, as you wade through the water. Well, that's a dirty 20 off a rip. Nothing 18. Alright, somehow you're able to stealth through the water. I, Moving at a, I imagine, a slower <laughs> pace to not make it ripple too bad. <laughs> All right. And then I'm going to peek around the corner here. All right. You find a little alcove uh, that the water fills in. Okay. Going to keep going to this one. Is the body of anything to note, or is that just the map? Is the what? There's a body, like, like Doesn't... above table. Is that anything of note, or is that just, or oh. like, is uh, there actually a body there? Or... I, uh, I didn't see that drawing there, uh, but you are welcome to check what I did put there if you want. <laughs> okay, sure, I'll do that. All right, roll investigation as you walk over, and you find another alcove. Uh, thirteen. All right. Uh, as you get closer and you look around, uh, you find yourself uh, you you uh, you find yourself stepping on a tile that kind of gives way, and then you just feel this suction. I need a strength save from you. Oh. Well, that should be too difficult considering me. And uh, that one. <laughs> <laughs> Nineteen. All right, well, the 19, you do resist the pull of uh, the whirlpool. Um, and as you stood there uh, holding yourself, it suddenly closes and the water splashes up with this electric type black energy around it that just wraps around you. And, oh, God. And you, hey, take six, you take six necrotic damage as the black energy just wraps around you and you feel it squeeze before it disappears. Oh, fuck. Okay, so don't mess with that. If you find a loose tile, do not step on it. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, what's going on in this corridor? Alright, Thor, you found where the water ends and it goes back up to the thing and I would say at that point you can start to hear the sound of uh, almost like the well you weren't here I guess but the the same type of chanting that everyone heard at the beginning of all of this uh, gonna... oh, God, but before we just jump yeah. forward is anyone else doing anything else checking anything else looking at anything else no just following behind Thorgar yep same. All right. All right. Fair enough. Well, I'm gonna tell everybody what you news. Blind and followers. To... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be carefully like inspecting the area as I go. Okay. Uh, I mean, you find another alcove, uh, but the the hallway itself seems pretty pretty normal, other than the water. All right. Well. I'm going to tell everybody the news, keep down, keep quiet, etc. I'm going to go to the edge of this corner and just kind of peek a little bit. Okay. 
another hallway then. <laughs> All right, let's do it again. <laughs> All right. I guess it would be there. All right. What's with uh, this convoluted hallway? The heck? At the end of this hallway, you see a group of uh, people in there where the chanting is coming from. Uh, it's in a language that none of you guys know. We went over this. Uh, but in the middle of the what looks to be like a pool of this green water, there is a lifted uh, stone stand on which you see a cloaked figure standing. Uh, he has a quarter staff in one hand and a book in the other as he's like holding them up. Uh, his back is turned towards that hallway and he seems to be leading this chant. We're talking this one? Or this the one, one in the very center. Well, the guy on the pedestal, okay. the main character here. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, I'm going to tell everybody what's going on, and we're probably going to end up being in a fight. So, I'm going to tell them I'm going to sneak up here and then go indivisible. And then I'm going to do the sneaky boy on him. Okay. Yeah, because so. you can go ethereal, so go ahead. Uh, do your move. Uh, I'm just going to keep going until maybe here. Does anybody notice me? Well, you're ethereal, so no. Okay, cool. Uh, then I'm going to cast uh, Hidden Step and Didn't do you... Indivisible. I thought that's what you already did. Oh, I... oh okay. I was... That's fine, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna keep going till okay. about here. Uh, well, okay, you're still okay. Roll stealth Sorry. when you when you touch the water. Okay, hang on, I'll go here. Roll still. But isn't the door is way up here? That is a seventeen. Uh, all right. Somehow you managed to get in the yes. water without alerting them. That's not a door. That is a broken bridge, and the door is actually right here. Oh, I thought those were steps. Uh, they were steps. They are now rubble. On the double. But you're uh, you're not in the room, so I mean, I don't know how you see that. Um... <laughs> oh, that was above yeah. table. Above table, 100. percent A lot above table. Oh, well, I'm gonna roll to hit the thing. Advantage probably because you know stealthy one. The guy in the in the middle. Yeah. Um, <laughs> is everyone else standing where they're going to be? Yeah, I, I imagine I Lucia would have hopped off your shoulders, Taz, and put her behind you. Probably once we got out of the water, yeah. I'll wait for kind of everybody to get in position a little bit, but... Um, we're all initiative! You know. I'm, uh, well, I get to do my thing well, first. Actually, well, yeah, go ahead I and... Go ahead and... Uh, uh, do, I have roll, go. do I have to roll the hit for this? Yeah, you have to roll a hit for that. Okay. Advantage. Oh, hey, no, not 20. Just letting you know, you um, that's going to be a 19 to hit. I have what? Sorry? Something covering your camera. Oh, shit. That thing fell. Alright. Well, uh, 19 well, to hit. 19 uh, does hit. Cool. Now that's going to be 1d8 plus 4. That's my d8. Um, math, 10, and then 3d6. It's going to be 26, so 36 damage total. 36 damage total? Yep. All right. Uh, with that stab, he lets out a, a holler. And uh, turns around and sees people in the hallway, at the very least. I do think your hidden step goes away if you... Yeah, if I make an action. Yeah, so Which... you are also visible, so they all see you as well. Um... Hello. Am I allowed to do a another thing before initiative? Uh, I'm going to go with no. Okay, fair enough. Usually surprise rounds are just the attack. Fair enough. He said that because he's making it. 
<laughs> what? I think I've heard it explained as it's supposed to be like half the amount of time of an actual round since it's a surprise, so it's supposed to be like three seconds or something super short. Yeah. Oh, right, I got a roll initiative. Um, Shit just went away, what the fuck? I just actually realized we are pretty much at time, so... I guess we could stop here and roll initiative and... Wait, we'll it, keep initiative um, if we stare. How y'all feel about your initiative? You want to keep this or you want to re-roll it next week? Uh, I feel good about mine. You always feel I'm fine. I'm fine with mine. <laughs> It is what it is. I hate mine. I hardly but... ever roll a good initiative. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, then I'm just gonna leave it as this, and I'll just let Lucia roll next week. I ha I can't even put anything in. My fucking John's not there. Oh yeah, you're just existent. Where's just your Where's existent. your token? I don't. I... You just stopped your, existing. Your I guess to your token's I, not even on the I map. I looked away for one second, I... Ro. What happened? <laughs> There's a yellow box around my token. I can't do anything. There's a I'm yellow box it. around your token. Green chat. I don't see your token at all. Your token's gone. Yeah, your token's just not there, dude. Yeah. Well, put it back no, in. I don't see it at all. Put it back in, coach. All right, gotcha. shit. Hope you remember your health, because I don't. Yep. <laughs> all right. Lucia used... One or two spell slots, first and second. All right. Uh, yeah. So put any of your notes in there. We'll start this. Com this combat will be the start of our next. Uh, next. Next week. Sounds great. Go ahead and cut Thanks, it. Thanks, everybody. Yep.